so much more. Finish off the day with a concert at the Greenville Toyota Amphitheater from Sister Hazel with special guest Taylor Holder. For more information, visit PirateFestNC.com. It's going to be awesome. This is your What's New update brought to you by Greenville Auto World. What's new? Greenville Auto World has new owners and is part of the DriveHereNow.com team of dealerships. New owner Tommy Cook and his team have four dealerships with a fully stocked inventory, over 200 SUVs, trucks, cars, and over 50 lenders and has financing for anybody. Get shopping today at DriveHereNow.com. Greenville Auto World, Highway 43 at Bells Fork, across from Speedway. Pirates supporting pirates. Hey Pirate Nation, be sure to have the best and comfortable shoes with a stop at Fleet Feet. This is ECU alum Chris Lunyon, owner of Fleet Feet of Greenville, and we provide solutions through one-on-one service to runners, walkers, and everyone in between. Fleet Feet has the tools and technology to get you in the right shoe, including a 3D foot scanner that measures arch height, width, and more. Come visit us at 207 East Arlington Boulevard in the old Gordon's Golf location. Fleet Feet, we run for you. At U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone for $830 off with no trade-in needed with any unlimited data plan, which means you don't have to trade in your old phone for a new one. That must sound good to you, guy with a junk drawer. I'm going to sell it to my sister. Ah, who am I kidding? It's going right in the junk drawer. Get $830 off. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. This is Brandon Tate, owner and operator of Atlantic Wireless, an authorized agent for U.S. Cellular since 1997. Visit AtlanticWireless.com to find the store near you. We go beyond on the call. Want a great lunch with quick service? Huckleburger. Need a place to dine out with the family tonight? Huckleburger. The fastest full service restaurant in town. Huckleburger. Huckleburger is committed to three core values. Highest level of customer service, high quality delicious food, and lightning speed. The Huckleburger menu features delicious burgers, cheesesteaks, chicken sandwiches, black bean burgers, salads, and much more. Huckleburger in Greenville near Lowe's on Memorial Drive and off of 15th Street near the movie theater in Washington. Huckleburger. Delicious, fast, fresh, Fresh and friendly. There's a common misbelief today that to make it further, you need to push yourself. That you need to give up any joy to continue your rigid routine. Or you could try another way. Take some time to enjoy life. Like having a Michelob Ultra with friends. Because happiness is essential to living an exceptional life. Michelob Ultra. A refreshing and balanced flavor with only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Michelob Ultra. Proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. The Angus Grill is your premier spot for the best burgers, cheesesteaks, and brisket sandwiches around. Join us for our unmatched variety of burger combinations. From the mushroom bacon Swiss burger to the jalapeno popper burger to the original Angus Classic. Pair that burger with our amazing onion rings, tots, fries, or sweet potato fries. Angus Grill, with four amazing locations in eastern North Carolina, including Winterville near Pitt Community College, on Jarvis Street in Uptown Greenville, and on Statensburg Road near the hospital. It's the best burger around, guaranteed. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. Can you be quiet, please? Thank you. Welcome to Live. Pirate Radio Live. Live. How did I do it? You already know, my guy. I'm a girl long He's time. He top five. Show. That's all I'm going to say. We're blue collar, we're hard workers, that's who our fans are, that's who our school is. Clip, what's up? It's Fry. Loneliness is worse than um, than COVID. <laughs> it's a proven it's a proven fact. I don't want a stalker. Bro, what are we doing here? Bro. Just a bunch of dudes sitting in a room talking into sticks, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the <gasps> You can't say that. Cliff, thank you for letting me hijack the show. If it wasn't funny, then let's blame it on the duck. <laughs> now live from the Pirate Radio Studios in the heart of the Pirate Nation, here is your host, Clip Brock. Welcome in to Pirate Radio Live here on a packed Wednesday. Clip Brock here with you. Inside the Pirate Radio Studios, coming to you on Pirate Radio 92.7 FM in Greenville, 104.1 in Washington. We are on 1250, 930. Online, PR927FM.com. And we'd love for you to be a part of the show today on Facebook and YouTube, as we've got a lot of live in studio guests that you'll want to A, hear from, but B, maybe pop a question or two to 
and uh we want you to do that on facebook and youtube today check out pirate radio tv like subscribe and you'll watch this program the brian bailey show the whole nailer show and see our post game uh, video for ecu baseball and our post practice video for spring football we got it all covered at pirate radio tv on youtube dixon williams cliff godwin uh their comments from last night's win over nc state john david baker mike houston their comments from tuesday's ecu spring practice available now on pirate radio tv so uh, make sure you are logged in there and also joining us here on this busy wednesday show coming up on this program ken watlington wnct channel 9 will join us in the pirate radio studios we'll talk about what's going on here locally and beyond in the world of sports with ken a lot of ecu baseball talk we'll talk some final four and more coming up with k-dub uh in about 20 25 minutes or so at four o'clock we'll talk uh some ecu baseball past and present with bethany bradshaw she's got a new book coming out this month never take this for granted and it is the story of the best fans in the country the most dedicated fans in the country the ecu baseball fans and the players uh, on the field the the families the opposing players she covers it all in this book called never take this for granted and we'll get some behind behind the scenes stories on this and um she can talk about it from her perspective why she chose to write this book and some of the uh the stories you'll find in this book so uh, i think y'all will enjoy that if you are an ecu baseball fan tune in at four as bethany bratcher joins us once again here on pirate radio live also in hour number two we'll talk to uh some of the heroes from last night jacob jenkins coward danny beal and how about dixon williams um maybe coincidence he had a tremendous game playing against the team that had ecu's old third baseman on it maybe a little extra oomph to it i don't know we'll ask him when he joins us but man uh felt good uh, for dixon williams tonight and uh or last night and we'll talk to him today danny beal uh did danny beal stuff once again jc helping out with the win so uh we'll talk to those guys they'll be fired up coming up in hour number two of today's show we'll also talk some ecu women's hoops uh women's final four and more with kim mcneil coming up at five o'clock she'll let you know about her camps coming up later on this calendar year and uh we'll talk some basketball with the ecu head women's basketball coach kim mcneil and holt nailers will join us on the show from texas so is that enough for you here on this wednesday we are packed and ready to go uh shirley rhodes is here intern brett is here chon is to my left what's up chon hey clipper happy wednesday to you happy sports trivia wednesday to you eight o'clock aj mcmurphy's and as you can see we're we're leaving a seat open today in honor of um i don't know in honor of who on the video it looks like we're leaving a seat like open for something yeah <laughs> we just haven't tightened it up uh, for jeff charles for the voice for the voice jeff charles who uh joined us wednesdays here on pirate sure radio did. live and uh think about him every day i wish he was still joining us talking some tigers baseball he'd be fired up with what they're doing to start the season some reds baseball and of course ecu athletics uh actually wore his shirt yesterday that we designed here at pirate radio pretty cool shirt that we have speaking of shirts uh what'd you buy yesterday i bought nothing well, i thought y'all went shopping in raleigh i told you jenny went shopping you didn't get anything no what did you help her pick her pick out something no i literally like did she like try I, I, clothes I, on you and you remember, had to judge them? do you remember going shopping with your mother I like do. like when you were little and you followed her around like a lost puppy dog one time we were at the beach john and <laughs> <laughs> we were in some department store like a belk situation or something and i was a kid and i remember i was i guess messing around and knocked over one of the mannequins not a mannequin okay but uh whatever you call the thing that holds up all the clothes right you know, there's like the a, rack the rack rack me and uh i knocked over one well those things are pretty close so then that knocked over another one it's like a domino there was effect. a domino effect oh man and um i'm pretty sure i cried i was a kid i thought i was gonna get arrested or something <laughs> 
Uh, but anyway, yes, I remember shopping with my mother. Well, that's what it felt like yesterday <laughs> because I was literally walking around following her like a lost puppy dog. And there was no men. Like I would have gone and like looked in like the the men section. It was in the men section. It was all women's stuff. In the men's section? No. There Is was, this the West High? It was it. in the men's section. I mean, there was no men's section. So I was just like going around, and there was actually like a couple times it Were looked you weird like, because I was checking out like a dress. I was like, oh, that's. Is that the first time you've been to Victoria's Secret? <laughs> no, this was, be- it was Bell. So, but Jenny is, for uh, women. Jenny and uh, Joe, Joe, Joe Wilkins are going to the Kentucky Derby coming up here soon, and she needed to go and get a couple of outfits, so she did. I did not buy anything. Um, Clutch move there, Brett. Good work, buddy. Um, did you, uh, did you come into Pirate Radio at all yesterday? I did. I, okay. I was in here yesterday morning. All right. I was just curious because I never saw you. Yeah, because you get here at noon every day. Right. And the game was at six. Right. Yeah. What time did y'all leave? Uh, about, it was about two o'clock. Well, what were you doing between noon and two? Just hanging out. Hanging out? What do you mean just hanging out, dude? <laughs> hanging out where? And then we went to back. Hanging out then where? We, then we went to backyard bistro. <laughs> where were you hanging? No, no, no. Hold on. T- between twelve and two, I went home. <laughs> yeah, and did some laundry. Like I had, look, I have a tough situation. I finally had some time to do some laundry yesterday. All right. Because now I am in a tough situation, and it's a frustrating situation because I also live with three other guys. Oscar, shout out Oscar, Jack, and Mitch. Hey, shout uh, out Oscar, Jack, and Mitch. Um. And the laundry situation at our house, I'm going to be quite frank with you, sucks. Because there's always laundry in the washing machine or in the dryer. Right. And you, there's sometimes where the laundry stays in either the washer, or not usually the washer, the dryer, most of the time, like for a couple of days. I finally was able to have, like I walked in there, there was nothing in the washing machine, nothing in the dryer. You're so like, was, now's my chance. Now's the time to go to do it. All right. So I went and I was able to wash clothes, dry clothes, fold clothes, put them up, and I was ready to go. Sounds like it's time for a house meeting, y'all. Have y'all ever tried to I'm like? I'm not listening. Have you ever tried to maybe set up a calendar, like a washing calendar or anything? Nah, that's not who we are. We need to do that though. <laughs> but that's not who you are. It's not who we are. <laughs> who are you? We're just a bunch of dudes, man. Guys being guys. But it is frustrating. But then I saw before I came here, I was like, oh man laundry room and all of them were at work so i was like laundry room's clear so i i I left here i went home and i got the laundry done now jenny's chiming in clip how many times do you see me during the day none very infrequently yeah steve says shopping on the clock what a life you know what we do have good jobs we have fun jobs i enjoy my job and like this book by bethany bradshaw chandler never take it for granted we never take this for granted everybody uh enjoy what they do or if they don't find something uh find something to smile at during the day you know what i'm saying yeah something to laugh at uh before we move on i don't like the way you just totally breezed by what i was saying and just said yeah but anyway go ahead no i have an important shout out to make well fine go i have a birthday shout out go to my lovely mother mama 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 i love you dear mama mama thank you for everything you've done for me in my life mama happy birthday happy birthday jennifer you ready i'm ready to go you started and a one and a two brett get in and a three happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Happy birthday, dear Chandler's mom. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday. Pirates 12. How about them? NC State 4. To the dismay of Jenny and Delaney and Chandler, the Pirates do win last night. (laughs) in raleigh <laughs> dang it i was so upset east carolina literally the only team that can beat nc state in any sport today right now they are hot in everything i know men's final four women's final four but baseball 
the pirates got them last night on the road chandler you pointed this out i think off the air we didn't talk about it on the air for some reason east carolina had lost eight in a row in raleigh yes was that the number uh last time they did it was april 1st huh. 2009 and that is not an april fool's joke no last time the pirates were able to defeat the wolf pack in Raleighwood was 2009 is the first time that cliff godwin has done it since he took the job here in 2015 so i think he's 0 and 4 in raleigh no more he has actually won one he won one last night and he did it in dominating fashion yeah pirates got it going early with dixon williams in the second inning added a couple more in the third and really i don't know what the story is because you score 12 runs you you pound out 13 hits you're going to win pretty much every game doing that uh but also the pitching that east carolina got was fantastic nc state did not score a run in the first six innings and you do that uh if you're east carolina you're going to win pretty much every game too so they played uh a complete game last night yeah and aaron groller getting the first start of his career here at east carolina he said he started uh before in his baseball career but the first time in a while since he's uh gotten the start on the bump and uh what a great outing he had three innings three strikeouts and we talked to him after the game last night and he said it's so much easier the pressure's off of you when you're adding runs early and that's what you need to do in every baseball game and i think he's uh i think cliff godwin preaches that a lot is get up hey punch him in the mouth first get up early and often and that's what east carolina was able to do they got up two to nothing thanks to a dixon williams double uh then they were able to get up four to nothing and then aaron grower was just able to roll for the three innings that he was able to pitch and then Danny Beal comes in and does Danny Beal things. He's back to his normal ways. And uh, four decisions for Danny Beal on the year. Three of those decisions are wins. One is a loss. So three and one on the year for Danny Beal. Dixon Williams last night, two for four, two RBIs, run scored, and at least how many web gems, Chandler? One or two? Uh, well, he had a double play, of course. Uh, that was awesome. And then that was awesome. <laughs> and then the, the, the pop-up that was basically for the left fielder where Dixon Williams said, hey, let me just make a web gem play. Uh, that was another one. And, uh, yeah, just great defensively, great offensively. And then after the game last night, Cliff Godwin basically gave him the MVP of the game. Uh, we will talk to Dixon coming up in hour number two. We'll talk to Jacob Jenkins Coward coming up in hour number two. Two hits last night for JC. And as Chandler said, Danny Beal, the pitcher of record for the Pirates, two and a third innings, uh, two hits, no run scored, two strikeouts, one walk, and 34 pitches. Uh, so uh, DB with a nice outing last night. Um, came in, who, who came in with a jam? The Pirates got out of. Uh, several jams last night yes a couple uh, bases loaded jams and yeah and there was times where you thought all right well nc state can crawl back here and then quickly there was two outs and uh the pirates were able to close out some innings and uh talking to aaron groller that's what he wanted to do i asked him i said what was your mindset of you know when you were told that you were going to get the start he said just get out that first inning uh, and close out innings, and that's what the Pirates were able to do, even if there were some threats from the Wolfpack. But, uh, and, you know, the Pirates were able to, you know, attack and take advantage of some mistakes because NC State made some, like, routine errors yeah. last night. And uh, just for example, the second baseman wasn't able to uh, gather the ball cleanly. That was, uh, I believe, Riley Johnson was able to advance to first base. Very next uh, batter is a guy that you don't want to be able to give a, uh, a second chance to. That was Carter Cunningham. He knocks a, a blast in the right field and uh, adds to the lead for East Carolina. So just a dominating performance and taking advantage of those mistakes was huge. Pirates go to 21-6 and six on the year, 4-2 and two in league play as they get ready for another conference showdown this weekend uh, on the road in Boca de Thon as they take on Florida Atlantic Friday 6.30, Saturday 4, Sunday at noon and then they'll be back busy week next week. Pirates will be at home Tuesday and Wednesday got Elon Tuesday, Old Dominion Wednesday and then three against Charlotte Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's a busy week. Uh, The good news is it's all here at home. So no no travel but a lot of baseball for these guys. Yeah and uh, just looking to this weekend, uh, Pirates need to go on the road and, and take care of business because that first road series and conference play did not go the Pirates way. So they need to bounce back in a big way in Boca Raton uh, this weekend against the Owls and then hopefully uh, they can win the series hopefully sweep and then uh, come back to where they want to be and, and play their best baseball and that's in Clark LeClair Stadium next week or next week um, we've got 
we got some news chandler we have a new uh commissioner in the american speaking of the aac okay i was uh i did see that there were some talks of him being the commissioner yeah i guess it's broke now yeah and uh let me find the guy's name For, forget the guy's name have you seen this guy yes i think he's a stud tim pernetti is tim pernetti have you seen this guy he's a this stud, guy looks really young he, up for a commissioner isn't he from rutgers i believe so and i believe he's in his 50s and i believe he's in his 50s he's the hunkiest commissioner in sports history so i'm the hunkiest hunky nfl head coach the hunkiest aac commissioner i'm living right now wait who's your nfl oh Dave, Canales. Dave Canales. that's the hunkiest nfl coach <laughs> yeah this he dude looks, is um, a hunk he kind of looks like a wwe superstar so in that picture he's, he's his face is a little fuller and he looks a little thicker wwe star with two c's and this picture that uh that i put out i've seen a lot of people say he looks like he's on the bachelor or something Uh uh-huh and his hair is going on like four inches tall he's you know who he he kind of looks like a scruffy looking jesse palmer yeah yep that's exactly what he looks like to me and i believe this guy is a uh football former football player what's his name tim pernetti tim pernetti former rutgers uh athletic director and then a president at img academy also so he is going to fight for us physically he might get us, to get us into the the power five the power six is this the man to do it the college football playoff can he use his charisma to get us into the power five tim pernetti hide your wives folks tim pernetti hide your athletic directors <laughs> <laughs> the new commissioner of the AAC. hide your commissioners hide your athletic directors in response, Mike Oresco said, well, you had guys like Justin Hardy and Shane Kerr. No, what, what happened is Pernetti uh, went up to Mike Oresco and said, Tim all right, we got Rice. We talked about Rice, Florida Atlantic. Uh, Mike, tell me about East Carolina. East, East Carolina is uh, it's, it's a great, it's a hidden gem amongst college universities across. Attention athletes and fans. Speaking of athletes, what kind of athletes came out of East Carolina? When you think about athletes, and I'm glad they mentioned fans as well, because East Carolina has the best fans in the country. But when you talk about athletes, you talk about guys like Justin Hardy and Shane Carden, and the, the, the way they were able to move the ball down the field on the football field is the way I think this conference moves in the greater landscape of things in the new era of athletics when you think about the college football playoff the ncaa tournament omaha the, even the frozen four we want to get some frozen four teams in this year we want tulsa to be in the frozen four but right now we're more focused on justin hardy and shane carden in east carolina and the fans they have great fans the fans in left field the fans in right field the fans in the the Minji's maniacs best college fan base in the country i tell you what this place takes basketball serious and we're going to start to see that pay dividends here in the future and uh can i just say to Tim, you are a handsome guy. Thank you. Um, thank you, Mike. And, I, you know, it's funny you say that. Uh, Everything's Carolina, funny that I say. Thank you for saying that. I'm, th- I'm thinking about going into stand up comedy. I cannot wait till you hear Tim Pernetti and then try to do Tim Pernetti. Uh uh-uh. Should we have Brett? Oh, do it? Tim Pernetti. Hey, 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 we got Tim Pernetti. <laughs> hey, Commish. Todd, tell us a little something, Commish. <laughs> that's, a, that's a North Jersey guy. Mark, born and raised in Teaneck. Do you ha- did you hear it, Shirley? Or? Can no, you? no, no. I'm oh, just oh, curious oh. to see if you can nail Tim Pernetti as well as We're you nailed Mike Brett. Resco. We're going to have to have Brett do Tim Pernetti. Freaking Tim Pernetti over here. I don't think I've ever seen this guy speak. <laughs> what if he's got a thick country accent? That would be funny. Uh, yeah, okay. the American man. America! <laughs> America! Hey, I want to be the commissioner of the American America. Conference because we're in Woo! America! Yeah! Let's take a break. Ken Watlington is here. In the building. We will talk uh, Final Four. We'll talk... uh, Is Ken aware of what the break... Oh, no. I was wondering, so what would happen on a Tuesday? Because I don't know what Wilmington did last night. They beat Coastal. Oh, so something good but happened. Something good happened, but something bad has to happen. And, and something did happen. That was the Braves losing to the worst baseball team in Major League Baseball, the Chicago White Sox. Mark Alexander blamed himself for doing some stuff on DraftKings. I'm going to put some blame on myself. I'm going to put some blame on Zach, who said I've got an easy parlay, which was the kiss of death. You said those words yesterday when talking about the one the Braves were involved in. 
Uh, but yeah, we'll talk a little MLB. Will Brett's Mets ever win a game? Can they really go winless? They're going to lose all 160. <laughs> They're that, terrible. That would be they a record. like a JV team. <laughs> We've got more to go. Pirate Radio Live. Busy show on a Wednesday. Fun show. And glad to have you with us back after this. Attention athletes and fans. Tiebreakers is looking for all-stars. Do you know an athlete who made a game-winning play, scored an amazing touchdown, or hit a huge home run? We're scouting Eastern North Carolina for this month's most outstanding athlete. Go to tiebreakersathlete.com to nominate your favorite player for the prestigious Athlete of the Month Award. Tiebreakers, shining a light on the athletes that make Eastern North Carolina proud. Submit your nomination now at tiebreakersathlete.com. This is Dr. Chris Barsani from Orthopedic Season Sports Medicine Center. Our practice has been caring for the athletes at ECU and the residents of Eastern North Carolina for more than 35 years. Whether it's treatment for your sports injuries or it's time for that joint replacement, Orthopedic Seats provides the latest in operative and non-operative orthopedic care. We also offer on-site physical therapy and MRI services as well as walk-in urgent care on the weekends from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Call us at 757-BONE or visit us online at orthoeast.com. Go Pirates! Be sure to check out David Price Construction for all of your commercial or custom residential renovation and building needs. Run by ECU alumni, David Price Construction specializes in commercial projects, maintenance on facilities, and large-scale residential renovations and additions. Proud to be voted the Remodeler of the Year by the Home Builders Association of Raleigh-Wake County in 2018 and Best Business Commercial Remodel Project winner for 2020. David Price Construction, the proud ECU Home Services Partner. Get inspired and freshen up your home during the Spring Savings Event at Bostick Sug Furniture. Springtime is the best time to find beautiful furniture at prices that are just your style. Plus, six months special financing. Save up to 70% off clearance items and closeouts. Plus, take an additional 10% off all American-made brands. Make bedtime the best time on a new mattress with up to 48 months special financing during the Spring Savings Event. On now at Bostick Sug Furniture. UBE and PirateWear.com are proud to offer the Pirate Nation its largest inventory of ECU merchandise and tailgate supplies ever. UBE has the best prices in town, so that makes UBE your one-stop shop for all things ECU. UBE does daily restocks of Champion, Adidas, and Under Armour. Don't forget to bring your young pirates to plunder the Crow's Nest, which is the only kid's store dedicated to ECU. Plenty of free parking in Uptown Greenville. Visit them online at PirateWear.com. Go Pirates! The wait is over. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina. You can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in North Carolina with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with the promo code PIRATE and bet $5 will receive $200 instantly in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more, with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using the code PIRATE and bet $5 to get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with the code PIRATE. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and is used under license. Washington's favorite place to eat and where all the locals go is down on Main Street. Down on Main Street's famous weekday lunch specials are only $7.99. Stop by for the house salad with grilled chicken, the half club sandwich with chips, or everyone's favorite, the fried shrimp plate. After work. Down on Main Street is the perfect spot for dinner and a drink on the patio. Join Down on Main Street every Wednesday for half price wings from 4 to close. Down on Main Street on Main Street in historic downtown Washington. Go Pirates! I intend to see to it that any man who sails under a pirate flag or wears a pirate brand gets what he deserves. Pirate Radio. I think it'd be rather exciting to meet a pirate. The voice of the pirate nation. Fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. You're listening.
listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Pirate Water. Get ready to party, pirates. Go to drinkpiratewater.com. You're listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Pirate Water. Get ready to party, pirates. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find your new treasure. 21 and older only. Pirate Water. Why be yourself when you can be a pirate? Now, back to the show. And welcome back. And uh, your bumper music brought to you by Weldon Mills Theater. Weldon Mills Theater is Eastern North Carolina's best entertainment venue, conveniently located just off of... I-95 in Roanoke Rapids, Weldon Mills Theater offers a hassle-free entertainment experience with free parking, wallet-friendly concessions, and a cozy atmosphere with comfortable seating throughout the venue. There isn't a bad seat in the house. Join Weldon Mills Theater for a memorable event where you can relax and make lasting memories. Coming up on May 4th, Rodney Carrington. Uh, a country singer and comedian will be performing at Weldon Mills. Also, a few tickets left for the April 18th concert with country music star Travis Tritt are available. You can get either tickets to either event, I should say, by going to WeldonMillsTheater.com. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. Good to read, Charlie. Are you okay today? It's been it's yeah, been it's it's an pretty. interesting 27 minutes. <laughs> Let's just put it that <laughs> way. <laughs> Only up from here. Yep. This is a great song. There is an era of music where a bunch of Caucasian girls had songs like this. And, and I think they all came out in 2002 cuz right. this is what I'm gonna, this is the year today. I'm going to say Vanessa Carlton, but I'm not. You are correct, sir. <sighs> but you've also got Olivia Rodrigo. No, nope, that's, that's that's like today, right? That's like today. Know. And you know what? I think I like her. You had Avril Lavigne. You have Vanessa Carlton. Michelle you have Michelle Branch. Branch. Um, yeah. You know, because a lot of her music was featured on Buffy the Vampire Slayer um, television show. So, uh, yeah, you had you had a slew of those. Every time I'm in the car with the girls, I feel like I hear a Olivia Rodrigo mm-hmm. song. And they're all like super sad, right? Like she broke up with the guy, and there's one called driver's license, angry. isn't it? It's a very Taylor Swiftish. Yeah, yeah. But she sings very passionately. Uh, like she's a mad Taylor Swift. Yeah, she's, she's way better than Taylor Swift. Ooh, uh, hot oh, take. Oh, that's a hot take. Let's not start any holy wars around here, man. Yeah. And the phone lines lit up. <laughs> I mean, Zach, you have been really stoking the fires the last few days. You might want to back off a little. Yeah, I'd like to get on and talk about the Taylor Swift comment from intern Zach. Do you have any words to say to Zach? Yeah, I do. Let's go, Stay. Hey, man. Look, <laughs> Zach, I just wanted to talk to you for a second. All right. I, is your mic okay? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Oh. Stop touching it. Look, I, I've there enjoyed you having you here. You've been a great help with Pirate Radio. Agree. You've been awesome. Cosign. But I feel like you're getting a little too comfortable, man. <laughs> Whoa. Look, I caught you yesterday. Whoa, what? what? Look, I caught you yesterday. So yesterday when y'all were talking about me leaving early for Raleigh, uh-huh. I heard you say something about, well, we didn't leave until like 3.30, <laughs> 4 o'clock, you know, going to Wilmington. Which I thought was a great point since Wilmington is further away than Raleigh. Well, all right, great point or not. Can you stay out of this? <laughs> Do you need to talk to me? Yeah, I need to talk to me. Yeah, to talk oh, to you. No, you're it. getting too comfortable. <laughs> But, hey, getting a little too comfortable. Then, as I'm on the phone with you guys, and I say that we were arriving in Raleigh, I see you do the looking at the watch thing like this. I did do that. Come on, man. You're getting a little too comfortable. And you have to understand, we have a pecking order here. Okay. okay. And, and trust me, I'm nowhere near the top. He's <laughs> acting like a punk. But I damn sure ain't at the bottom. Donita, hide your kids. Hide your, your wife. Hide your wives. Don't get too comfortable. All right. Fair yeah. enough. Fair. I, but I love you, though, buddy. I love you. I'll love. I'll love. All right. Um, I like that we bring Ken in to see us. <laughs> yeah, what am I going to say now? Have these open discussions. Yeah. Don't get too comfortable. Uh, welcome to Pirate Radio Therapy. <laughs> Ken, how do you think we resolved this situation? Yeah, listen, Chandler, your tone was a little <laughs> much. Sorry. Uh, Ken. Come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you all. What's up? What's up? Uh, Happy Wednesday. The sun's shining bright today because something good happened in my life. What is that? UNCW won a baseball game. And helped out the Pirates. So yeah, thank you for that. Nuts. First midweek win of the season for the Seahawks. Is that true? Yeah, they were 0-6 going in. Man. 
Well, there's give and take on Tuesdays with Ken, and the take was the Braves losing to the White Sox. I didn't even know their season started. See, you're lying. <laughs> that now that When's is opening a, day. That is a lie. I. How much Braves have you? Uh, you're you're diehard Braves. You're almost a, you're a bigger Braves fan than me. Probably. I was until they got punked by the Phillies two years in a row. That's what it took to it took. get you out. Yeah, I'm done. So you really focus all my attention on the Washington Commanders. See, that's, that's, that's <laughs> now we need to have a talk. No, I just sound ridiculous. <laughs> uh, so you're really not following the Braves? I, I've, I've tried not to, and it it sucks me in. And really, there's no there's no reason to follow them during the regular season. They're going to win the NL East. I don't know. It can't beat the White Sox. A, because they're really good, and B, because the Everybody NL East stays. is the worst division yeah. in America yeah. right now. The Mets could make a comeback. Have you met, have you met Brett? Possibly. Have you met Mets fan? No. Oh, Brett God. Mets over here? I've been suffering for 20 years. Yeah, don't come in with your sad act when we got Brett over here. <laughs> well, what have the Braves done years. since winning a World Series World years World ago? Series. <laughs> At least they make the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Mets and Marlins are combined 0-10 right now. There. Chandler's Nationals in third place, I think, with like one win. Yeah, and the best record in baseball is the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Are they still undefeated? I don't know, but they were they were 5-0 five five at one point. Yeah. A uh, lot of baseball, a lot of hockey left. A lot of hockey. As they say. Go Canes. Uh, Chan asserting himself more and more, but Clip will knock him down. That's not... What do you mean? Why would I do that? I like to I like to pump up my guys, and I want to say thank you to Chan and Mark for bringing me an awesome lunch today. Yes, sir. From Huckleburger. Huckleburger, man. I had that cheesesteak. It was so good. You got the uh, Huckle Classic? I, I was, it was classic. And uh, Shirley got her burger. Shirley went a route that I didn't think she would go. A barbecue burger with pickles. That actually is my staple when I go to Huckleburger, but uh, uh, occasionally I will switch it up and do the cheesesteak because uh, I went on a Thursday, and Thursdays the cheesesteaks are Mm $5.55. Tomorrow. Yep, tomorrow. And uh, so I tried that, and they were just excellent. So for a little while I did you know cheesesteaks every time i went but normally that barbecue bacon burger is what i have it's got barbecue sauce bacon an onion ring cheese burger chili and then i ask them to throw on some pickles on top of it it is delicious ken i'm making you a cheesesteak over here i'll chop it up yeah Yeah, yeah. Uh, no mushrooms please thank you okay Mm -hmm. no shrooms would you like for me to add mayo sir uh not mandatory but if you accidentally did it i wouldn't hate it all right, just curious. We had that discussion in the past. They also Mayo have a, a cheese uh, chicken cheesesteak. It's like, like chicken with ranch yeah. and bacon on it. Oh, it's really good. I like the moose. That's oh, like that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. That's the moose. Yeah. yeah. yeah I had real. a chicken cheesesteak from uh, another place last night. A place <laughs> I like to call Familia, mm. and it was fantastic. Which they put mayo on that. Yeah, they do, and I love them for it. And guess what I did when I got home? Added more mayo. Ooh. Big mayonnaise guy. Load it up. Big mayo guy. They call me Big Mayo. Big May. Oh. <laughs> uh, Derek says, Alex is above Chon, but Zach is not. He says, what is the pecking order? I don't know. I'm just here so I won't get fined. <laughs> we top five, man. That's all I'm going to say. All right. You're top five. <laughs> Alex uh, is in the chat. He says, go Canes. Woo. Alex's uh, profile, avatar, whatever, is him snapping a ball. But it's really just him with his butt in the air. Like, is he doing that to be funny, you think, or or not? Because it's his hind parts, right? It is, and yeah, it's up there. I mean, it. it that <laughs> like is a. It's like it's pre-snap routine, maybe. Fletcher. Rise. Fletcher said the Canes are winning the Cup this year. What do you think wow. about that? Put the Ken? future on now. I like it. Mm. It'll be the only championship one in Raleigh this year. Ooh. Because some Ooh. dreams are about to come to an end, unfortunately. Ooh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> do you disagree with me or you just want we to not agree you just Ooh, want to I, see how high you can get yeah Ooh. Ooh. i'm not throwing that out there do i believe it yes yeah i mean that, that it's a joke now but dj burns and dr already have two fouls yeah, so, i mean before they get off the bus it is so hard to watch purdue play basketball they're in the air over texas right now on the way to phoenix <laughs> two fouls over the over the air, over the he, back. DJ bumped the drink card somehow and got called for a foul. Yeah, but you can't take away from the incredible run. Yeah. It is... Uh, and listen, if they beat Purdue and then beat UConn, this greatest team of all time. 
Greatest story Cinderella of all time. Team. Greatest team of all time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. Whatever. They will, season team. They will literally have yeah. to make another, like, Survive in Advance Part 2. They, they get their own network. <clears throat> I'm sure state fans have done this, but has anybody put together, like, the... Uh, the correlation with the guys like uh, Burns is the Wittenberg and uh, Diara is the Thurl Bailey and O'Connell. Who's, who's Lorenzo Charles? <clears throat> is, o- <clears throat> is O'Connell Terry, uh, Terry Gannon? Terry Gannon. Um, Who, who's Derek Wittenberg? DJ Horn? I was going to. DJ Horn. Horn is Sidney Lowe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I need a Lorenzo Charles. Maybe Charles is Burns. Marcel. Um. But like Wittenberg was the like personality too, right? Yeah. So he's burned. I think he's got to be Burns. The Bailey and Diara, I like that comparison. And uh, yeah, we do need Lorenzo Charles. You're gonna go more so. All right, fine. Uh, we've got our our surviving advance Kevin Keats playing the role of Jimmy V, looking for somebody to hug. Great story. It all ends Saturday because Purdue and UConn are destined for a showdown. Yes. So that means it'll be Alabama, North Carolina State. <laughs> uh, where are the Tar Heels? Oh, they uh, they home. Yeah, what they, happened? They search in the portal. <laughs> uh, Alabama trying to get Armando Bacon out of ninth year. Alabama is allergic to defense. Yep, they they do not care, but they can shoot it. But man, can they light it up? Yeah. So they are fun to watch. Even when they stunk against Grand Canyon, it was a fun game. Yeah. It was a wild, Up wacky, and down, just all over the place, ugly, fun game. <laughs> so, I just don't know. Coach Mack thinks they can stay within the number, and he's been really good talking about those things. It's eight and a half, right? No, sir, eleven and a half. What? Yeah. No. All right, let's look it up. It's twelve. <laughs> Sorry, Ken, I was wrong. Really? It's twelve. <laughs> Sheesh. All right. Should what's, we? What's the line on State Purdue? Have you already said? Oh, that? that's what I was talking about. What, what are you? Oh, talking? I'm talking UConn, and Alabama. Alabama. Okay, so we were I talking was, about Alabama. I was going back to State already. Yeah. Nine and a half. Nine. Nine. Okay. Niner. Uh, NC State first half Purdue game. Boom. Double winner. Chicken dinner. All right. You putting it in? State All plays right. better than second half. Though. Second yeah, half. Yeah. They. Uh, they swallowed Duke Hole there in the second yeah. half. Like it and was, they, and they couldn't throw it in the ocean in the first half. Now, why is that? State is not the best defensive team in the country yet. Marquette, Duke, uh, Carolina, Carolina in the yeah. ACC yep. championship. Second half. Yep. Teams can't make a shot. Yep. I, I I don't know what it is. It's crazy. It's the DJs. Yeah. And they're getting wide open looks. Yeah. It's not like they're playing great and marquette had several in that popped out marquette was three for 106 from three or something (laughs) yeah Yeah. and they were just rattling the rim (laughs) and couldn't you couldn't get one to go down it's crazy i think jimmy v's just under the basket going (laughs) swatting it away get out of here could be that's not how he talked no but i like it uh how about the women i said yesterday similar story max said not quite because they actually are good and yeah, they're a three seed. This is not a C- Cinderella story at all. No, but their story about to come to an end too because they take on a juggernaut. South Carolina hadn't lost since the Nixon administration, and their last loss was to the Knicks. <laughs> yeah, there you go, NBA game in overtime. <laughs> uh, on the other side, UConn and Iowa. I started the show with women's basketball yesterday for the first time ever, and it was because I watched a women's basketball game on Monday night. And it was a good game. It was a good game. I don't think it was as good as last year's championship game. But nah, it was, it was fun to watch. It was mean. And millions and millions of people tuned in to watch it. So yeah. It was, it was appointment television. They're breaking records. I was kind of surprised at the number on Duke and NC State. I knew regionally it, yeah. would, it would do well. But that was the most watched game It's the Duke effect. Years. Yeah. Duke has a huge fan base. They also have a segment of the population that absolutely hates them and wants sure. them to lose. You put those two together, it's a lot of eyeballs on basketball. I'll watch a Cowboys playoff game because yeah. I hate them, them so lose. much that yep. I want to see them lose. Yep. So there you Same go. Same principle. I get, I get that yep. point. And, and not to discredit NC State. I mean, obviously, they generated a lot of buzz with the run they've had. People so. tuned in to watch Burns, yep. and he did not let them down. Tremendous no, game by him. Uh, uncanny. And and credit to Duke, man. They keep getting these unlikable guys. Yeah, they, <laughs> Cal- which, which one? Filipowski, McCain? Which one are you going with? Filipowski, certainly. Yeah. And uh, and here's his whining yeah. that he did the other day. Wasn't happy. No. Nope. So. And he actually fouled out. 
Yeah, with a lot of time left. You know, like nine and a half, I think. <clears throat> a ton of time on the clock when he uh when he left all right uh we got more with ken watlington coming up when we return pirate radio live coming up hour two a lot of ecu baseball talk bethany bradshaw joins us to talk about her new book never take this for granted as uh she goes behind the scenes ecu baseball with the fans the players the surroundings at clark leclair stadium and we will talk about that with her coming up at four o'clock and then later on in the four o'clock hour Dixon Williams, Jacob, Jen- Jacob Jenkins Coward, and Danny Beal. Some heroes from last night's win over NC State. We'll have that. Kim McNeil joining us later on in the show. And Holden Aylers. Busy Wednesday edition of Pirate Radio Live. Back with you after this. Holton Ehler Show. Let's go around the room, see what we're feeling. You guys know I'm a rock with the Knicks, but uh, any other legit contenders? Let's start with the East first. Any teams in the East that y'all feel other than the Knicks can win it? The, the favorites of the whole year, the Boston Celtics? Yeah. I don't even watch NBA like that. It's one sport I just can't really get into, which I know everyone in here likes the NBA but me. But the Celtics are going to go to the championship. I agree. The Holton Ehler Show, powered by SouthernEast.com. Thursdays and Fridays at 6, right here on Pirate Radio. The Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of pirates in eastern North Carolina. Open seven days a week with live music, Monday through Wednesday, acoustic night. Thursday, we have line dancing from 7 to 9, followed by karaoke with DJ Dog. On Friday and Saturday night, enjoy the best local bands in the area. Check out Facebook and Instagram for all up-to-date information and band schedules. Y'all come get bucked up! Here with Jeff Stein at Brown & Wood, it's a great time to buy a used vehicle. It's not a great time, it's a perfect time to buy a used car from Brown & Wood. We have over 115 used vehicles in stock, and we're number one in the market on price. We have limited lifetime powertrain on all of our used cars under 80,000 miles, so go to brownandwoodauto.com to find out more. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal, to make sure you leave a happy customer. Southern Ease has arrived, Pirate Nation. Whether you savor the bourbon flavor or indulge in other delightful options, Southern Ease gummies are here to elevate your moments. And here's the best part. You can enjoy them with an exclusive discount. Head over to southernease.com now and use the code PIRATE at checkout for a fantastic 25% off your first order. At Southern Ease, you can be living life to your fullest, one sweet moment at a time. Southernease.com. Hey, Pirate Nation, this is proud ECU graduate and former baseball player Brandon Manning inviting you to join my team at Farm Bureau Insurance. Right now, it is a good time to review your coverage with a local trusted agent like me. I will make myself available before or after business hours, and my clients always have my cell phone number if they need anything. From home, auto, or life, give me a call today and let's talk about your insurance coverage and about the Pirates. Call 531-1812 and go Pirates! Country music artist and comedian Rodney Carrington is coming May 4th to Weldon Mills Theater, Eastern North Carolina's best entertainment venue. Conveniently located just off I-95 in Roanoke Rapids, Weldon Mills Theater offers a hassle-free entertainment experience with free parking, wallet-friendly concessions, and a cozy atmosphere. With comfortable seating throughout the venue, there isn't a bad seat in the house. Join Weldon Mills Theater for a memorable event where you can relax and make lasting memories. Get your tickets for Rodney Carrington on May 4th at Weldon millstheater.com I'm back and so glad to be back in the town that I love but also glad to be back with the best chiropractor anywhere Worth Chiropractic was my choice before I left Greenville and my travels have not changed my mind no one offers the care service like Worth Chiropractic neck pain back pain and of course sports related injuries they will get you back to being you naturally and safely Worth Chiropractic two convenient locations on Arlington Boulevard free consultations and they'll work with your lawyer and file your insurance call 1-800-BACK-DOC today Captain Bo Brooks, what's happening at Pirate Waters Outfitters this spring? Well, we have restocked with all new apparel from Marshware and AFCO. We got the new turtle boxes coming in, the River Rock color. And I always suggest that you cook your fish in a smithy, and the new smithy is in as well. We have a fly cave in the back with all you need to catch fish on the fly. And tie your own fly wall where we have all the accessories and products you need to tie your own flies. We are Pirate Water Outfitter on Market Street next to Breaking Bread, home of Camacho Rodworks. Pirate Radio. You know, East Carolina deserves to go to Omaha. People should be worried about us. We're going to be really good, and I'm not afraid to say it on record. The voice of the Pirate Nation. You're 
are listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Pirate Water. Get ready to party, pirates. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find your new treasure. 21 and older only. Pirate Water. Why be yourself when you can be a pirate? Now, back to the show. Welcome back. The best place in Greenville to unwind after work and have fun is AJ McMurphy's. AJ says daily food and drink specials and an awesome patio. Perfect for some outdoor dining. And there's something for everyone every weeknight, including sports trivia tonight with our very own Clip Rock. And as usual, every Wednesday night, AJ says live music every Friday and Saturday with no cover and brunch every Sunday. Make today an AJ's day. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. All right, back with you or on Pirate Radio Live. What is this, Puddle of Mud, Shirley? Why, yes. Pull Give me out. the name. Give me the name. Hold it. Blurry. <laughs> yes, sir. Well done. Thank That's you. impressive. That's see, really depressive. see his his late nineties, early two thousands yeah. rock memories X. are really really good. Whereas oh, mine, really if you good. give me the eighty stuff, I could just I could destroy them. So clip. What's the name of Limp Biscuit's third album? <laughs> Chocolate starfish and the I don't know. Chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water. Is that what it is? Yeah. I, that's the first one that came to mind. Yeah. <laughs> um. The wait is over, folks. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina, so you can legally bet on your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in North Carolina with DraftKings. And for a limited time, new customers who sign up with promo code PIRATE and bet $5 will receive $200 instantly in bonus bets. Bet $5, get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Uh, Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using the code PIRATE. At five dollars, get two hundred dollars instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with the code Pirate. The crown is yours. If you have a gambling problem, you call 877-718-5543 or visit more than a game. NC. Gov. Twenty one plus North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire one hundred sixty eight hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and is used under license. Uh, they are underway at Camden Yards finally after a two plus hour delay it is the Royals and the Orioles going at it Uh, Brett and Zach Brett I believe you gave me a loser wait a minute opening day was Thursday were you here Thursday did you give me the Mariners I did yeah I think they lost on Thursday no I think they won I don't think they covered they lost six to four. They didn't either. Um, Losing bet, bad opening. Bet. So I need at least one, maybe two winners from you today, Zach. If you've got one tonight, our DraftKings winner of the day, let me know. You have uh, two hours and eleven minutes. Ken, um, we got a prediction here. Okay, got a prediction from Skip UConn to win the men's tournament. I can see it. USC to win the women's. It's bold. <laughs> That's going to be tough. Yeah. Because they are not in the Final Four. Wait. Oh. They lost. Uh, didn't they? Didn't they lose to UConn? Or am I wrong? So I didn't look it up. We're saying USC Surely. is Southern Cal and USC is not oh, South Carolina. Oh, dang it. I thought I was going to get this guy. <laughs> and instead, I got got. You got got. And you know what? That is not my fault. No, because I, USC. I, I, I totally see the confusion. USC is Southern California. Yeah. yeah. And South Carolina is Carolina. And Ca- no, not even you believe that. <laughs> Carolina is North Carolina. South Carolina is South Carolina. They can try to be Carolina or USC. They're not. They're South Carolina. So my bad on that, Skip. But I see your confusion. But I, you see my confusion. Um, By the way, uh, congratulations, Skip, on a new profile picture on YouTube. You're congratulating him for that? Because I feel like he's never had one. And it's a pretty sweet... He's got the pirate script helmet. Yes, love it. All right, uh, Kenny Curling says there's nothing better on a Tuesday night than watching ECU dominate NC State in baseball. Stress free game. Pirates came to play. I love a good stress free baseball win. And that's how it felt yesterday. And I actually said, you know, the crowd's not been in it tonight, and it's because the Pirates got up early. <laughs> when you're down ten, and, and, and <laughs> I mean, it was like four to nothing. And but I, it kind of makes you appreciate Clark LeClaire Stadium. 
Yeah. Because the Pirates can get down four to nothing in the first three innings, four innings. Which happened last week. And the crowd's going to be loud, yeah. even if a guy gets walked. You know, the, you know, two guys get walked to start the inning. Uh, the crowd's loud. So, yeah. I mean, it just uh, the crowd never got in it last night, and that's because the Pirates dominated. Uh, Jamie could be too. State fans are kind of preoccupied with something else. Yeah, that's true. Also, the sag. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I feel like maybe I give it to you too much, but then again, not really. It's it could be worse. But I see you and a, a state account going at it about. I think he said all your fans will be our fans coming up on Saturday or something to that effect. Yeah, that was one of the things I responded to. I mean, I responded to a lot of things in the past. But day. you can't really say much about that. Because if the outcome of that basketball game would have been different the other day, you would have been rooting for Duke on Saturday. I don't think I made a point exact. I think I said, "Really, ah, uh, where are you, I said what are you something. looking for?" My phone's back there. <laughs> Twitter's back there. <laughs> um, I don't, yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't even want to get into but it. I'm, but I, I'm more worried about the fact that every time anybody mentions their loss, the first thing they got is, "But we're in the Final Four. Well, good for you. You're not winning the trophy. <laughs> you're gonna hang a banner that says we made it this far but didn't win." You Yay. gotta if you're a literally jump, every school that ever made the Final Four does that. Though. Well, I know, but still, they're flexing something that isn't a trophy. <laughs> well, they got a South Regional trophy. Do you really get one of those? You absolutely do. Which yeah. is mm. uh, South Regional Champions. You got a. We made a few games into it, but that's not the one you want. You want that national championship trophy. That's right. That's what you and your fellow Wolfpack fans were talking about this week, right, Chandler? No. Nah. But you know, I, hey, I did see a guy at the NC State merch tent, and I don't know if I want to call him that or not. What? He's a pirate. Could have been buying yes. something for a family member. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Was he buying something for a family member or himself? Was it Cliff Goblin? I don't know, but he was uh, checking it out. He was checking out the merch. Yeah, look, there's a lot of... we He's learned, just comparing we, prices. We learned there's a lot of pirate packs <laughs> out trying there. trying to get something cheap to put on eBay. Oh, $16? Uh, $16? That's on Fanatics. This was ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, Chandler will buy this for $150 <laughs> if I buy it. <laughs> just a few, just a little bit ago, though, uh, Barstool Pack decided they wanted to tweet a picture of the SMU game from this past year, the Thursday night game. And the crowd for the game because they were because we said well, Fairweather fans they left the game so early yeah um, and so they tweet this picture out of some random guy it probably from his Facebook page he was sits in the upper deck near where my parents sit of him before the game and they're like Fairweather fans this is your football pictures from from last season I was zoom in on the scoreboard there's 37 minutes till kickoff hmm. mm. and I'm like first off our worst football season in a lot of years good get good and get 37 minutes till kickoff question you um <clears throat> part of the reason a big part of the reason you're a duke fan is because you were raised methodist you told us that <laughs> earlier this week. we're just gonna keep on this okay. why is everybody laughing that, that's what he said right Family. that's a fact right <laughs> it's a fact so are you a big smu guy for the you, you we never established <laughs> the methodist part you guys just took the methodist thing and ran with it that, he, he's you, a northern methodist i didn't southern know methodist. you literally said you were raised Methodist. You grew up Methodist, right? And Duke is like a Methodist chapel, right? So, so my like my mom went there a lot as a youth in her youth groups to the Duke Chapel, and my grandparents went there on trips. So going it's just a thing. to the chapel <laughs> okay. and we're gonna, gonna see take Philip charges. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not an SMU guy? No, actually, I don't like them at all. Their fans are annoying. Now that I, okay. They must not be true Methodist. <laughs> How Methodist was Larry Brown when he rolled through yeah, there? Real Methodist. <laughs> He's a real Methodist guy. The NCA hates Methodists. Uh, Jeremy, they hate Larry Brown, that's for sure. Yeah. Jeremy says he is a Duke fan because his mom is. Yeah, because she was the Methodist family. My mom also a uh, a Duke fan. I'll have to show you a, a, a TikTok that uh, this guy took of uh, some Duke fans leaving the arena the other night. I don't know if you saw it. But uh, he literally goes, and it's like a compilation, very quick. And he goes, "Hey, did you, uh, you're a Duke fan? Yeah. Did you go to Duke? No. Did you? Hey, you're a Duke fan. Did you go to Duke? No. Did, hey, hey, look, uh, I, I, yeah. You can do that with any school. Yeah. I, it's but more so with Duke, maybe. I see both sides of it. Okay, it's a, it's a there's historically a, smaller school. There's a ton and it's hard of, to get in. 
Carolina fans, oh, yeah, millions, and then didn't go like, to Carolina. And, and it's fine. There's the ECU fans that didn't go to ECU, yeah. too. And we accept those, right? Yeah. Okay. You, you got a bunch of little kids. We'll be at the games next week cheering for the Pirates. They're not in college. Yep. Yeah, with the school that has a <laughs> Where do you go to school? <laughs> Chandler yeah. goes up with his camera yeah. to eight-year-olds. You, you oh, are, oh you go to... Oh, you go to... Oh, you, you go to GR Chicago? Whitfield? Huh? What are you being an East Carolina fan? <laughs> Get out hey, of here. Nice East Carolina shirt. Did you go to school there? Oh, wait. You're four years old. <laughs> Chandler sees a baby. It could be a fourth year medical student. You don't know. Uh, like a baby mom. in a crib. Go Pirates. Chandler rips the shirt off. Baby's like, <laughs> you can't and have I'm like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> really? Uh, that's a girl. <laughs> oh, my bad. And oh, well, did she go to East Carolina? Oh, she didn't? All right. Well, then she needs to take it off. <laughs> Moving on. Um, we're going to be flopping at the Chapel of Love, says Jamie. <laughs> uh, Robert, hey, monkey boy, will you do Robert a favorite? He wants you to dance. <laughs> he says, can I hear Chandler Hahn say state? State! There's a freebie for you, Robert. Look, where this isn't a zoo. You don't just get to look at us through the glass like and throwing like <laughs> bread at me yeah come on Robert. say stay nice. do the thing <laughs> say it say it say it <laughs> oh man ken we're out of time well <laughs> i gotta go do the news what's on the news today um let me think <laughs> we're talking a lot of nc state uh wolfpack left raleigh today for arizona we'll have a report from raleigh on the, the hype the the excitement <laughs> it is a great story it is it's good it's good for our state how's that just the the, uh, the eyes the people talking about the state of north carolina it's a good thing okay right i don't it, think so it's better than like a bombing or something yes i'm with you there <laughs> <laughs> nc state basketball better than getting bombed <laughs> there you go ken nails it folks there's right. your next t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Ken. Yeah, Enjoyed man. it, man. Appreciate y'all. Uh, we'll take a time out. Come back. Bethany Bratch, are going to join us. Hour number two. Jacob Jenkins Coward. Dixon Williams. Danny Beal joining us. Hour two. It's Pirate Radio Live, folks. It's better than getting nuked. Some days. So, <laughs> some days. Maybe when Ken leaves, that can change. <laughs> it won't change because we got great guests coming up the rest of the way, including Kim McNeil. More to go. Pirate Radio Live after Puddle of Mud. Pirate fans, the 2024 ECU football season will be here before you know it. And season tickets are on sale now. Lock in your season tickets to be a part of the Dowdy Ficklin experience all year long. Season tickets start as low as $115. Payment plans are also available to fans who lock in their seats early. Just head to ecupirates.com or call the athletic ticket office at 1-800-DIAL-ECU. We look forward to seeing you in Dowdy Ficklin Stadium in 2024. At U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone for $830 off with no trade-in needed with any unlimited data plan, which means you don't have to trade in your old phone for a new one. That must sound good to you, guy with a junk drawer. I'm going to sell it to my sister. Ah, who am I kidding? It's going right in the junk drawer. Get $830 off. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. This is Brandon Tate, owner and operator of Atlantic Wireless, an authorized agent for U.S. Cellular since 1997. Visit AtlanticWireless.com to find the store near you. We go beyond on the call. Fitness, Fellowship, and Faith is F3 and is changing lives of men right here in your community. Just listen. Hey, it's Brian Smith, 54, coat hanger. F3 is just accountability. It gets me out here every day. These guys, if I don't show up, they come after me and it just gives me opportunity to show up first thing in the morning. When I start my day at 4.30, 5 o'clock, it's just a good way to start your day and then you go to bed early. F3ENC.com. You don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started if you want to be great. East Coast Grading and Utilities is your source for clearing, hauling dirt, and concrete work. East Coast Grading and Utilities handles all sewer and water issues as well. I'm David Vaughn. Whether it's putting in a new subdivision or helping you with any and all of your drainage problems, I can get the job done. Call me at 531-7494. No job is too big or too small. East Coast Grading and Utilities. Friends helping friends. 531-7494. For East Coast Grading and 
and utilities. Great food, great atmosphere, and great service is Atavola Market Cafe. Atavola is simply a restaurant that focuses on that, being a great restaurant. There's something for everyone at Atavola. The menu offers a variety of great choices like pastas, pizzas, sandwiches, soups, salads, and seasonal rotating selections. Lunch or dinner, Atavola is always the right call. Call ahead and get Atavola to go. Or stop by the bar for a drink with friends. It's simple. Come and eat at Atavola Market Cafe, Red Banks Road next to Food Lion, and AtavolaMarket.com. Atavola, Pirates supporting Pirates. The wait is over. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina. You can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in North Carolina with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with the promo code PIRATE and bet $5 will receive $200 instantly in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more, with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using the code PIRATE and bet $5 to get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with the code PIRATE. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and is used under license. I'm Donald Stocks, owner of Pip Marketing Science Print. We are your one-stop shop for just about anything printed. If we're not your go-to printer, please give us a call at 355-1636. We have over 80 five-star Google reviews and want you to be our next more than satisfied and well-pleased customer. Check us out at growitpip.com or stop in to see us at 3185 Mosley Drive in Greenville. Pip, where business goes to grow. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Down on Main Street, Washington's favorite place to eat and where all the locals go. Join Down on Main Street every Wednesday for half-price wings from 4 p.m. to close. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Thinking about takeout tonight, Familia can make everything real easy for you with a great selection of Italian food and more. Visit FamiliaNC.com. To see the full menu of uh, featuring pizzas, pastas, salads, and homemade desserts, place your order online or call 689-6330 and Familia will have your order ready in their convenient drive through window for pickup. Finish up a busy day with a great dinner for yourself or your family from Familia. Familia on Fire Tower Road near Pitt Community College. And Bud Light reminds Pirate fans to always stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly uh, proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. All right, hour two, Pirate Radio Live here on a Wednesday. Is that a long snapper I see amongst us? Alex Harper joining Brett and Zach, the intern crew today. Chon to my left. We'll talk some pirate baseball coming up in a little bit with Jacob Jenkins Coward, Dixon Williams, and DB, Danny Beal. Um, I got a strong disagree from Donald Wallen on I Facebook. Saw that. He said, Strong disagree clip. The Tar Heels are Chapel Hill. The Gamecocks are Carolina. Now, Donald Juan, you uh, can want this to be the case. You can hope and pray for it to be the case. You can maybe get people in your inner circle to call North Carolina Chapel Hill and call South Carolina Gamecocks Carolina. But that, that will not make it true, and it will not make it the case nationally. Nationally, if you hear USC... People think Southern Cal. Nationally, now I don't, I'm pretty positive. Pretty, pretty positive. I've never lived anywhere other than Pitt County in North Carolina. Oh, that's Brett. Brett, where are you from? From New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey. When you hear Carolina, who do you think of? Well, I would think of the Tar Heels. 
Is that that's how like coming up via Carolina's play play in Texas? You would think North Carolina versus Texas. Yeah, and if you were referring to <coughs> South Carolina, you would just say Gamecocks. Yeah. How about USC? That's Southern California. Right. Yeah. So we're asking an out of stater, a Yankee, and uh, and there you go. Like when I say US, USC, do you think Marshawn Lattimore or do you think Reggie Bush? Reggie Bush. Point take. Keep going. All right. When I say USC, when I, no, when I say hmm, let's say Stephon Gilmore, uh, do you think? Uh, or and did I say? Okay, Gigi never Smith mind. Schuster. <laughs> Good grief! <laughs> I don't even know how I said it the first time. I think point taken. Um, what do you think about Carolina, the Carolina Panthers? Should they be the North Carolina Panthers? Should they be the Charlotte Panthers? Uh, do you like them being the Carolina? Carolina. Panthers? Anybody have any thoughts on that? Carolina Panthers. I think it works. It sounds good. Carolina Hurricanes sounds good. Yeah, like North Carolina Panthers would not sound good. I don't think so either. How many Charlotte Panthers? No. How many football NFL teams are named for states? Of course, you have the New York teams. But a lot of them are cities. Like Pittsburgh Steelers. Tennessee Titans, that's a state. Tennessee Titans. Uh, Houston's a city. Okay, well, let's name states. All right. Tennessee Titans. That's uh, a good trivia question. Like, you have one minute to name every NFL team that is a state. Name as state. Minnesota! Okay. Very good. Eric. Arizona Cardinals. Arizona the Cardinals. Who in the past have been the Phoenix Cardinals, but are now oh, the. I did not know that. Yeah, when huh. I was a kid, they were the Phoenix Cardinals. New Maybe. York, two teams. Yeah, we mentioned those, but thank you. Oh, my bad. No, that's fine. I'm thank trying you. to prepare stuff. No, it's good. Hey, thank you. New Orleans Saints. He doesn't have his headset on, so he can't really hear that. New Orleans Saints. New Orleans. No, that's Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we might have named them all. That's uh, that's kind of interesting, though, isn't it? Or is it? Do I find this interesting and it's not? Oh. No. <laughs> I was about to say Seattle. Kansas. <laughs> That's City. in Washington. No, dude. Kansas. No. They're not the Kansas Chiefs. They're the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. All right. There you go. Shirley, can we hear a little uh hold on, we got more on this from Hold on. From Meg. Tar Heels are UNC, Gamecocks are Carolina. And people in South Carolina don't really claim the Carolina Panthers. Wow! So, now you got my attention. Meg, are you a South Carolinian? Because I could see how you would have a different perspective on this All than right. people from North Carolina, which is why I asked an outsider, Brett, from New Jersey, who's Carolina and who's USC? All right. Who does South Carolinians claim then in the NFL? If it's not the Carolina Panthers. Where up until this past year, we oh, had Falcons our, fans. We okay. had our training camp in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Our headquarters was supposed to be in Rock Hill, South Carolina. But thank you, David Tepper, for ruining that. Uh, let's see. And then when we first started, we literally played in Clemson, South Carolina, at Memorial Stadium. And it's, it, it is one Carolina. Meg is speaking for the entire state of South Carolina, the Palmetto State. And she says, "We people in South Carolina don't really claim the Carolina Panthers. Is it wild to say that I've always called them U of SC? Yeah, that's pretty wild. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, you are a crazy person. Because like USC, U of SC. You've lost your mind. Hey, their they're, they're, they're university moniker is University of South Carolina. So they are U of SC. Cause well, you could do that university with South, a South million California. schools. You could do that with UNC, right? All right, you so, would see at Chapel Hill. You know, you know a school that actually does use that because I, I know someone that went to law school at Arizona. Hold on, you know somebody that went to law school at Arizona? I know a few people. They run in your Alex circle. could use him, huh? <laughs> Wait, court date's tomorrow, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he forgot. He doesn't even know. But now she does refer to Arizona as U of A. I've heard that a She'll lot. She'll say yeah. U of A. And I'm like, what? And she's like, Arizona. And I'm like, ah, I gotcha. I, I hear U of A, Arizona. Those two for the short names. Meg, uh, to get her story, moved to South Carolina three years ago after living in Charlotte for 30 long years. 
Clemson grad, two kids who are ECU graduates. Go Pirates, she says. Welcome, Meg. Welcome. Uh, we're saying welcome to Meg. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. So are you. Uh, welcome to A Harp, Alex Harper. What's up, Alex? What's up? What's up, A Harp? I know you got a busy show. Yeah. So I was just coming in here for a second. All right. Good just, to see you, man. Good right, to see y'all. See you Later. Man. All right. Peace. Later. Good to see you, man. Can you shut it on your way out? Yeah. Can you shut the door? Just shut, just shut the door. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't man. Close, it doesn't no close good. Alex. Um, Canes, baby. How about them? They play last night? No. No, but he did mention the Canes earlier in the group chat. Do we have... Uh, do you have... Uh, how, how do I get a Kiwanis hat? Um, at a unsponsored store near here. I, can point <laughs> I gotta go to buy you. one? Yep. I know the coach. Yeah. I don't get a free one though. You gotta buy your own hat. I do, man. Yeah. All right. And, fair and you can buy them at stores. Yeah. All those pirate radio shirts you got. I'm gonna need Do a the little. Proceeds go to the team or to the store. I believe they go. I believe a portion of them go to Greenville Little League. Oh my God, Jacob Jenkins Cower looks weird. Oh yeah, no, no stash. Whoa. That dude looks different. We'll talk <laughs> to JC, fun. DB, Dixon Williams coming up in just a little bit here on Pirate Radio Live. <laughs> um, Jamie is requesting to hear from Cliff Godwin last night. And you know what, Jamie? You're here every day. You're a good you're a good chat gang member. One would say in the upper echelon of the chat gang. Not a weird guy. Not a weird guy. Chandler met you in person. I can't confirm. Not a weird guy. You have uh, you have weirdo tendencies, but turns <laughs> out, no. You're, you're just a regular dude. You're just a regular old dude, bro. And I'm going to grant you this request, and we're going to hear from Cliff Godwin. Here since 2009. You guys doing it in dominating fashion. Just your thoughts on how you guys played today and you know, the win. Well, first off, I wasn't head coach here until 2015. So the ones before that, I wasn't a part of. But uh, yeah, it's awesome, you know. Uh, and we haven't played here every year, but uh, for our guys to come on the road, um, NC State's really good. Um, they're really offensive for our pitching staff to do what they did tonight was unbelievable. And then offensively, just to keep adding on was awesome. And I thought our gr- our crowd was great too. And we just never let their crowd get into it. What'd you like about Corolla? Just I mean, going three and just kind of looking pretty strong. Yeah, we just kept keep telling those guys, man, going back to 2022, that your job is to close out the first inning. He did that, and then he closed out the second, and then he closed out the third, and uh, I think he hit the first guy of the fourth inning. And then Danny came in and did his job, and uh, Richie came in here did his job. Sheep came in and did his job, and then Jake Hunter closed it out. So um, I thought we were really good out of the bullpen. How huge was it just that last weekend, only using seven guys, so maybe you guys are fresh and you just kind of have your whole repertoire to use? Yeah, I mean, we did use Bill, Richie, and Shinkman, yeah. so those three. Um, but, you know, not using Roller probably helped him be fresh, which was a good thing. So, um, and, and Jake pitched as well, so it's just good to keep getting Jake out there in a relief uh, role. You always want to attack and take advantage when the opposing team makes mistakes, and you saw Carter Cunningham, you know, take advantage of that. To be hot. Yeah, they made an error um, there on Riley, but you know Riley's speed puts pressure on their infielder, and um, you know he misses the ball, and then Carter makes him pay with it with a two-run homer with two outs. So, um, but Carter had a good night. I thought uh, JC had a good night. I thought Starling had a good night. Uh, J-Dub got a swing off uh, for a solo home run, and of course Dixon Williams. I thought he was the MVP of the game um, with the single with the two RBIs that got us going, but. And the play made in left field defensively, and then that double play ball late, just unbelievable. He played played his tail off. How is the pitching staff channeling that 2022 mindset like you talked about on Saturday? Well, I think it's worked pretty good, at least for Sunday and uh, today. So uh, we'll keep uh, channeling that mindset, and uh, you know, we'll practice a little bit tomorrow, and then we'll hit the road early on Thursday to go to FAU. When you talked about Dixon. His hits came with two outs. I think you guys had like four or five two-out hits. I mean, that that's huge, especially that led to – Carter's home run. Too. Yeah, uh, for sure. I mean, I think anytime you can just continue to put pressure uh, with two outs, I mean, you still got 33% of the inning left. So we always talk about uh, there's a lot of inning left when they they get two outs, even if nobody's on. Getting your 21st win, I mean, first game of April. I mean, this team's rolling. How, how's everyone feeling yeah. right now? Oh, hey, we're rolling right now, but it's uh, you're only good as your last game. So we got to practice. We got to stay humble. We got to stay hungry and, you know, folks don't continue to get better. Talk so much about year 10 under you. Like, what does it mean to come to Raleigh, beat a good NC State team, and uh, keep on rolling? I just think it's important for us to play quality competition, and NC State's really good. Coach Avent and their coaching staff and their players do a great job. Uh, um, you know, you, you don't expect us to win, you know, in the fashion we won tonight on the road here because they're a really good team. But 
uh, hats off to our guys for just continuing to tack on. Pirates were the aggressor last night and never let up in the win over NC State. It was a lot of fun to see. And uh, talked about Ken Wellington's UNCW team winning. That helps East Carolina when they knock off Coastal. That RPI number keeps going up. RPI and, boost. Uh, now the Pirates have to take care of business in conference play and two non-conference games at home coming up next Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, got a busy week next week with uh, two in uh, midweek games and then um, – just got to take care of business, uh, first of all, this weekend on the road. Let's take a break. When we return, we'll hear from uh, some of the heroes from last night. Jacob Jenkins Coward, Dixon Williams, and Danny Beal. They'll join us in the Pirate Radio studios when we roll on a Wednesday edition of Pirate Radio Live. Back with you after this. Take my place when I'm gone. Get inspired and freshen up your home during the Spring Savings Event at Bostick Sug Furniture. Springtime is the best time to find beautiful furniture at prices that are just your style. Plus, six months special financing. Save up to 70% off clearance items and closeouts. Plus, take an additional 10% off all American-made brands. Make bedtime the best time on a new mattress with up to 48 months special financing during the Spring Savings Event on now at Bostick Sug Furniture. Turkey? ham, bacon. These and other meats are great around the holidays and every other day, but they all leave behind grease when you cook them. And grease is a real pain in the drain. When you pour grease down a drain, it cools and can clog sewer lines. That can lead to sewer spills, which are messy, bad for the environment, and can also be expensive. Never pour grease down the drain. Instead, collect it in a container like a used soup can or jar. Let it cool and throw it away in the trash. Together, we can protect our sewer system and the environment. For more information, go to GUC.com. Baseball season is back at Granger Stadium with opening day on Friday, April 5th in the first pitch at 7 p.m. with post-game fireworks. Saturday, there will be a magnet schedule giveaway to the first 1,000 fans presented by Bojangles and WNCT Channel 9. Then a post-game Easter egg hunt on Sunday for kids and adults. Get your tickets at wooddugsbaseball.com or by calling the front office at 252-643-5305. It is the start to another fun-filled season. The Wood Ducks can't wait to see you all summer long for some Wood Ducks baseball. Go Woodies! Kawasaki's Ridge and Ridge XR family set the new off-road standard. Built for work and play. Ridge side-by-sides deliver versatile performance with a powerful four-cylinder engine and premium interior features. And for even more trail-taming power, the Ridge XR family offers more horsepower and versatility for rugged work or advanced play. This is peak premium performance. So stop by Ron Ayers Motorsports, Highway 11, north of the airport in Greenville. Hi, I'm Walker Allen Volova, and I'm with Copy Pro. Copy Pro has been locally owned and operated here in eastern North Carolina for over 50 years. Copy Pro is the leader in office technology. Does your business struggle with keeping printing costs low or producing professional documents? Here at Copy Pro, total satisfaction is our number one priority. We have a variety of solutions to help reduce your printing expenses and make your business more productive. Call us today at 1 800 682 6558 or online at copypro.net. Copy Pro, we are the professional office systems people. For years, Callie Ann Phelps has been singing about Phelps Chevrolet. Phelps Chevrolet is the one for you. Low, low prices, service too. See the big dealer right away. Carolina's finest, Phelps Chevrolet. And you'll agree with what Skyler Phelps has to say. Nobody beats Phelps Chevrolet's prices. Nobody. The name you can depend on. Phelps Chevrolet. Get you one. It's time to save at Beauty Bar Medi Spa's Spring Extravaganza, April 8th through the 12th. Mark your calendar, but don't wait for the sale. Schedule your free consultation today to get the inside scoop on all the sale pricing. Your free consultation will allow you to understand your options and plan your budget so you can save on services such as Botox, filler, laser treatments, facials, skin care, and more. Schedule your free consultation and mark your calendar, April 8th through the 12th. BeautyBarMediSpa.com. You want subs made with high-quality meats and cheeses, you go to Jersey Mike's. You want high-quality radio ideas, you go to me, like this. I'm an astronaut on a mission to find water on the moon. But because I'm a genius, I realize that what humanity actually needs in space is high-quality meats and cheeses from Jersey Mike's. Now to figure out how to remove the helmet and eat the sub without my head exploding. 
Here goes nothing. Always high quality meats and cheeses. Jersey Mike's, a sub above. I sailed out of the port of Bristol with sailors wearing black armbands. Pirate radio. And found ourselves proclaimed notorious pirates. The voice of the pirate nation. You guys sing the chest, come on. It starts with one thing. I don't know why. Doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to explain the two. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Down on Main Street, Washington's favorite place to eat and where all the locals go. Join Down on Main Street every Wednesday for half-price wings from 4 p.m. to close. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Do you need custom t-shirts, apparel, or promotional items for your business, organization, or event? Well, keep it local and print it local with University Sportswear. Contact them today at universitysportswearenc.com, the official sportswear provider of of Pirate Radio. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live here on a Wednesday. <clears throat> Clip Rock, Shirley Rhodes, intern Brett, intern Zach. I think Aharp snapped on out of here. No, he's on an errand for me. Oh, errand boy, Aharp. Good yes. stuff. That's part of the internship. You have to go get me stuff. And fellas, I uh, might have some free food for y'all here in a moment. More on that. Uh, go Pirates. <laughs> coming up. Uh, we've got... DB, Danny Beal, JC, Jacob Jenkins Coward, and DW, Dixon Williams, joining us here in the Pirate Radio Studios, coming off a win over NC State. Congratulations, fellas. And uh, not just for that win, but you guys have been streaking lately. So, some good good ball playing going on. Yeah, I mean, just kind of keeping things rolling. We're trying to uh, take it one game at a time. Like, I don't even know how many games we've won in a row, but. Um, I'm going to put it at five. Is it? I'm not sure. But hey, just five. One I think time. it's five. Next game's the biggest game. Y'all don't want to talk about San Antonio, probably. But beyond that, you've won five in a row. It doesn't matter. I'm glad that everybody was panicking when we were playing bad on the road, and now we're kicking butt on the road now. So, And going back there this weekend, not there, there, but on the road yep. to yep. FAU. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. But let's talk about last night. And Dixon, I'll start with you. I mean... Maybe it's coincidence you had an awesome game against the team that had the third baseman from last year's ECU team, or uh, I don't know, was there a little extra ump for you going into the game last night? I don't think it really had anything to do with that, per se, but um, definitely just being a rivalry, in-state rivalry, I think it was a big game. We knew we needed to play well, and um, thankfully, I guess I did play pretty well. <laughs> you did, and uh, doing well at the plate, but man, uh, web gym after web gym over there at third, and last time you were here, Dixon, we talked about your defense and you getting you know more comfortable over there at third, and you said you certainly were comfortable over there at third, but man, now you're making just instinct plays and plays like that. Um, how have you been able to come along defensively so well so far? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we practiced <laughs> a lot, but uh, the play like that last night just – I think I said it last night. I kind of just blacked out. It's going to happen. So uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, I was just being aggressive when we got the ball, and it found its way in my glove. But, no, we take a lot of reps at, in practice everywhere, and uh, we work on the hard plays and the easy plays. So. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is repetition, and and I use that word instinct. A lot of it's got to be instinct, too, because it's coming at you pretty fast, right? Yeah, very, yes. <laughs> uh, great game by you two hits uh, for you last night, JC, in the win. And, uh you love these rivalry games. I think you you haven't really oh, yeah. shot away from that. I'd be curious to see what your stats are against State now that I think about it. Yeah. You got those handy, Chasey? I mean, I have a general idea. <laughs> it's pretty Three good. I, th- I think you just should say good. <laughs> yeah, definitely um, in-state rivalry, uh, all those games. You know, it's not that we're not, you know, turning it all the way up against um, other teams, but there's just a certain level of, of – uh, Intensity that that it you know just like any rivalry game, um, so I think that definitely goes into how we uh, prepare and how we approach the game. Danny, you mentioned earlier about people freaking out when you lose two out of three at San Antonio. I think for some people, for some people equate losing with not giving energy or not having the want to. And when you guys win, it's like, hey, they wanted it more. I, I, I'm pretty sure you guys always want to win. Uh, but is there anything to that? Like, did you have more energy last night or at a home game than you did, say, in a loss to San Antonio? Yeah, I want to make one thing very clear. We're never trying to lose. <laughs> but, I don't mean, Dixon kind of said it. We weren't – It's we're playing state. Obviously, we're going to get up for that game, but it wasn't anything like 
pressure is a privilege. So I think when we go into those kind of games, it's like, yeah, there's going to be a big crowd. Yeah, it's going to be a meaningful game for whatever reason. But I think it was cool. Aaron said it last night. Like, this team is so close-knit. So it was definitely a great challenge. And we, I think we rose up to it. And uh, I think you guys like the challenge of being on the road and, and me against the world. But does it give you a comfortable feeling when you're on the road and there's so much purple and gold in the stands too that it gets loud when you guys make a play? The crowd was awesome last night. I mean, it was. We were just talking outside that the purple and gold chants over the TV were just going up insane, and it it definitely gives us an advantage. Not just because obviously it's an in-state game and the more fans we have, it just makes it a cool experience. But it doesn't matter wherever we go. There's always seems to be some sort of fan group there that overshadows the uh, the home team. Oh boy. Who's in charge of the uh, of the video? That's you? All right, good. Uh, JP says, even Pirate Radio can't get JC's name right. Jacob Jenkins Cowards. Let's take that S off. Alex good? Harper wants to make hey, sure... Hey, Harper, really fast. Okay. All right, please don't coming. leave. Don't leave. I know one thing. When I was an intern, I would have never done this. <laughs> he was so hype when you asked who was in charge of the video. He was like, yeah, me. <laughs> he, Ahart was so quick to answer. Yeah. I did not misspell that. Alex has only misspelled his former teammate Holt Naylor's name twice. Uh, oh, but it was oh, not and him. his coach's last name. <laughs> well, too. true. But, uh, I mean, it's an S. It, I, I'm sorry, I am. It's, it's a big S. It's it is a big name. S. It's not, okay. That's we got, a tall S. I wonder how Clip noticed it. I noticed it because somebody in the chat called it out. Hey man, I had to I had to make the whole thing right here. I was all rushing. Right, we're good. Well, we're back good again. It's all good. Can't, can't be all his fault. Now let's do. A <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. Now let's uh, do a make good and read a JC stat. Or Johnny stat says uh, Jacob Jenkins Coward is batting four twenty three with eight runs and five RBIs in games that Danny Bill has a win or a save. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's awesome. Jo- Johnny has wow. random ass stats all the time, and boy, this is wild. that's actually that's sick. Crazy. How do you even figure that out? Danny pitches good. JC turns into Babe Ruth. I hey, like it. He's our own rain man uh we don't pay him or nothing he just just dishes out awesome stats uh jc also leads the team with 15 multi-hit games so it's a good stat wow. also yeah i probably lead the team with offers too <laughs> Well, Johnny, is that true? Let us know. Um, Johnny also says in Danny Bill's last 10 appearances, he has three wins, two saves, an ERA of .44, and a whip of .68. With one strikeout. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> also true. <laughs> yeah. uh, so there you go. Some good numbers there. And we were talking about the win earlier. Danny, you're getting some generous wins. To it's, your ledger. it's funny. So two years ago, when I had first initially switched arm angles, it was JC's freshman year, and Dixon was still a baby in high school. But Ryder Giles' dad would always make fun of me because I would always kind of be the guy to come in after the starter and just eat up innings when we we're up by a hundred. But I would end up getting the win, and I had like six or seven wins that year. And he'd call me win stealing Danny Beal, <laughs> and it kind of stuck because it happened the same thing last year, and it's happening again this dirty year. But it's just dir- dirty win stealing. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, it's all it's about you know the the length of the starter. So Groller needed to go what? five yeah. four plus five. i think the five. rule is we were talking about outside i think if i had so i eclipsed the fifth inning as a reliever so and since we were winning still and didn't give up the lead i think that makes me get the win i think i could be wrong but i think that's what the what the rules are uh shout out to groller uh db eric ritchie wild lunch for shankman jake hunter uh, and eric ritchie too he did not have the start of the season he wanted uh for this team but as come back look better why it's been pretty consistent all year and uh and maybe jake uh in a different role here midweek and and working some things out we saw we'll talk about another pitcher here but uh how about the guys last night db griller was nails that was awesome that we were talking about because we always call him the savvy vet and it was just a perfect game for him where he's not going to make the moment too big and he's just going to go out and fill up his own and he had like three punch outs he didn't let anybody get on until the third or third or fourth whatever it was but Everybody behind him just did their job. I mean, it was we were talking about 2022 where you closing out innings and being a closer or whatever. And I think the last night, at least, we really took it upon ourselves not to make it too big, just go out and get three outs. And then if that you got more, go do it. If not, pass the ball. And we, I mean, we had our best guys were out there and did our job. So uh, Jack said the dugout seemed fired up last night, which pretty par for the course, right? You guys yeah. stay yeah. up. Dugout was just a big, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's been a big emphasis. And when the dugout, I mean, like we talk about going on the road, sometimes uh, we play at places that don't have the greatest um, fan environment. So we got to create our own energy. And when the dugout is, is, is you know, getting hype, it, it really keeps us going. 
what was going on in the utsa series so like i heard fans say they were making noise out of their dugout but then somebody said it was actually you guys yeah um they for some reason were thinking that they had picked our pitches so they were yelling as the pitch was coming what they thought was coming and so we were like all right well let's just one up them so our ops guy blake carter came up with the idea that we were just going to yell louder than them when they were yelling (laughs) so people were like on tv or whatever being hearing like what are the who is that yelling we would literally just go yep as the pitch was coming (laughs) but the entire dugout would do it and it ended up working because the hitter couldn't hear his own dugout because we were just screaming so loud yeah (laughs) but that's i think where the kind of dugout juice started was like all right well if we do this every game i feel like we got a pretty good chance and then uh so that was the first series then the second series was there uh some talking going on between you guys and the blazers no, no. Nah. I, so. I think they took it personal, honestly. Like, they, we didn't shake hands after, but they that's what shake I, our hands. I, I don't know. I mean, no, I, I, mean, I think they were just they really upset. It. At, I mean, the umpires. They, was, about a lot yeah, of they were. Yeah, the, they were upset they about like the, umpires. the umpires, and we, we didn't have a we didn't have a problem with each other. Okay, I don't so think a was word more, was said between player yeah. to player. I think gotcha. it was just more they were. Upset. <laughs> I, did, I did enjoy the little umpire and coach standoff on Sunday. That was pretty. I've never seen that. For like a minute in, I was like, all right, this is annoying. But then we got to two minutes. I was like, I hope they go ten minutes. It's gonna be sick. It went from funny to annoying to funny again. Like all in the same span. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sure Cliff was about to lose his mind. Well, he was just like, he, I think he kind of had the same reaction. He's like, what's going on? And then he was like, all right, this is kind of funny. And then he was like, wait, okay, it's not funny. <laughs> he had the opposite. He went yeah. annoyed, funny, annoyed. Yeah, yeah, you guys right. went funny, annoyed, funny. All right, there you go. Uh, Danny Bill, Jacob Jenkins Coward, and Dixon Williams here in the Pirate Radio Studios. Uh, Jamie said to bring, and got to bring it up. I kind of referenced it earlier with Dixon, but in your interactions with former Pirate Alec Makarevich last night. No. Uh, I said, good luck, AMAC. Yeah, I think it was That's pretty, all it is. It's pretty yeah. civil. In the, we, I don't know why we shook hands with them because we play them again, but they wanted to. Shook hands and just kind of kept it moving. Um, nobody, like, pitchers didn't say anything to him if they got him out. Um, he didn't say anything to anybody. I think he shook hands with Coach Godwin, so it was pretty civil. Nothing really all right. happened. Yeah, good to hear. And uh, you guys will see them again here in Greenville later on this year uh, with another chance to beat. By the way, you guys are the only team, individuals, that can beat NC State in any sport right now. They're winning in everything else. I looked at Coach Knight last night, and I was like, this is the biggest subtle flex I've ever seen. So they had like an upcoming game schedule on the right side of their scoreboard, and it was like field hockey, tennis, lacrosse, and then it said March Madness games, and they had women's Final Four and men's Final Four on either Great. side of it, and I'm like, that's so cool. Like, it could is. you imagine? Yeah. yeah. I, it's uh, good for them. Uh, I think their dreams are coming to an end. Because the men I, have Purdue, the women have South Carolina. I, women's probably. I can't wait to see Burns for CD. That's going to be so much fun. Is it? Yes. Dude, yeah. Well, I mean, Absolutely. they're going to breathe on each other and get a foul. But. Exactly. I, I'm, Edie's going to foul them out. It's not even going to be both, fun. They might both foul out. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be Edie, too? You yeah. Know? Yeah. You think they're going to throw in the uh, uh, Diara guy. Diara. It's the big, wiry freak athlete. He's yeah. just going to run into Zach Edie and, you know, uh, he'll foul out. <laughs> I, just, I just can't believe they've won so many games, man. It is insane, the the run they have been on. Uh, all right, can y'all hang out one more segment? Sure. All right, good deal. Uh, well, guess what? I don't have a producer, so we're going to keep this segment going. Sounds good. We don't have anybody warming up in the bullpen. <laughs> Danny, you're on. Keep going. I'll go I'll go change the, I'll go change the producer for Shirley. He um, did teach me one time. So I've asked a couple of pitchers about the Austin Knight conversation that they have on the mound. Um, how about the the conversations you hitters have with Cliff when he does call time? What is he? Some of it is if the if there's like three pitches in an inning and there's two outs, it's just a, a stall tactic. But uh, but what is being said when you guys go meet with him? I don't really know. To be honest, he's just kind of <laughs> up there. He's kind of like, hey, you know, let's really go. <laughs> Sometimes, like he'll hit me with the hey, um, just you know, giving whoever's pitching a little rest, <laughs> but uh you got green light still you don't have to take it <laughs> and then I'll, most of the time i swing at the first pitch and it's <laughs> uh, dixon how about this i've because i've seen you i've seen every ball player do it but you you get an out or you get pinch run for or whatever and you're running back to the dugout and you talk to the guy about to hit for three seconds what are you saying to him let's go baby let's get it done 
<laughs> not that usually saying. how it goes. That's not it's, usually. It's different I mean, for everyone. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying that, and then I'm, you know, walking Give back to the dugout. For m- most guys, Dixon likes to play with a clear mind. Okay. For most guys, we're kind of given some kind of information on what we're seeing yeah. at the plate. First pitch, so and so. Yeah, or, or like, you know, this is what the fastball's doing. You know, this is what the breaking ball's doing. And Dixon's just out there having fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way. Hey, whatever works for you, I man. Mean, I mean, we already know the approach before the at bat. I don't have yeah. to go over that with him. I'm like, Let's yeah, go, baby. So, speak of, speak of it, last night, this guy uh, reported he's got some arm side run. Well, I, I want to know if he's throwing a four seam or a two seam, like the actual spin of the ball. I was like, hey, hey Dixon, is that a four seam or a two seam? He goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After his like third <laughs> missile of the night, he's so locked in. He's just, yep, yep, yep. Looks good. Uh, what is the difference uh, from a hitter's perspective of four seam and a two seam? I think, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> there you go. I think um, four seam. I mean. Anything can, like, you can throw a four seam that runs, cuts, rides, or you can throw a two seam that runs, cuts, rides. But for me, it's about pitch differential. So if I know that it's a four seam fastball, um, I'm looking for that kind of spin versus it's going to look different than uh, an off speed pitch gotcha. or vice versa. Uh, there is a lot of stuff to think about when you're up there <laughs> and out there. Um, does anybody throw my favorite pitch on video games over the years? And I still like it today. Is the screwball? Anybody yeah. actually throw a screwball? Trey's got Trey. a, little, a pitch. So it's a, not even really a. I mean, kind of. But it does a little tail towards yeah. a right handed hitter. Dude, or whatever. He, Trey's a witch. He has some pitches that I'm like, how do hitters even come remotely close to touching that? Like he threw he threw a splitter on Sunday or no? Yeah. It was the, it was the Friday mm-hmm. doubleheader against UAB, and it started above his head and that. ended up in the dirt. And I'm like. There's Go back be, to the dugout. Yeah. There's no point, dude. It's, There's got to be a review on that pitch. It unreal. started at the kid's neck and unreal. finished yeah. white line away in the dirt. Yeah, it's, it was crazy. It's, it's unreal. Who's the uh, the Astros pitcher I'm thinking of? The through the no hitter? No, not that guy. The uh, the opening day starter is it Valdez? Oh, uh, yeah, Valdez. He, he was throwing. I was watching his first start, and his stuff was like well, he like adds and subtracts. He pulls a root a little bit where he's like 94 with like this much run, and then it's sometimes it's 92 with this much run, and then other times it's 89 with like that. And it's just like all <laughs> over the place. The, his ball does some wacky stuff. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's pretty crazy. All right, Shirley's back. Let's take a break. Uh, we'll come back. More to go. Pirate Radio Live with. Dixon, JC, and Danny Beal. Kim McNeil going to join us Hour 3. And uh, Holt Naylor's Hour 3 as well. More to go. Pirate Radio Live back with you after these words. Time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day. The clock ticks life away. It's so unreal. Here with Jeff Stein at Brown & Wood. It's a great time to buy a used vehicle. It's not a great time. It's a perfect time to buy a used car from Brown & Wood. We have over 115 used vehicles in stock, and we're number one in the market on price. We have limited lifetime powertrain on all of our used cars under 80,000 miles, so go to brownwoodauto.com to find out more. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal to make sure you leave a happy customer. It's here, Pirate Nation. The Holt Naylor Show is now available every week right here on Pirate Radio. Subscribe to Pirate Radio TV on YouTube to watch the show or find the Holt Naylor Show on the Pirate Radio podcast channel to download and listen. Stories, big name guests, what I'm up to that week, plus plenty of laughs and opinions with my best friends known as the Walk-Ons. Subscribe today to watch and listen to the Holt Naylor Show right here on Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. There's local politics, bud. There's a common misbelief today that to make it further, you need to push yourself. That you need to give up any joy to continue your rigid routine. Or you could try another way. Take some time to enjoy life, like having a Michelob Ultra with friends. Because happiness is essential to living an exceptional life. Michelob Ultra, a refreshing and balanced flavor with only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Michelob Ultra. Highly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Spring is in the air at your CBD store. Get 10% off any purchase. Just mention the code SPRING. If you struggle with sleep, anxiety, or pain, their CBD wellness specialist can help. 
Your CBD store's unique boutique also carries THCA flour and pre-rolls, Delta gummies, pet products, gifts, jewelry, and more. Call ahead for pickup at 999-5127. So spring on over to your CBD store today. Open Monday through Saturday from 11 to 7. Your CBD store, 420 East Arlington Boulevard in Greenville. Go Pirates! The wait is over. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina. You can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in North Carolina with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with the promo code PIRATE and bet $5 will receive $200 instantly in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more, with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using the code PIRATE and bet $5 to get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with the code PIRATE. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit more than a game dot nc dot gov 21 plus north carolina only bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance deposit and eligibility restrictions apply terms at draftkings.com slash sportsbook slash nc nascar is not a sponsor of this promotion and is used under license before anyone walks into your business the outside is what they see make sure your first impression is a good impression with the right curb appeal hi this is daniel andrews from dan andrews lawn service we specialize in making your business look great let us handle all your professional landscaping needs we do it all so you don't ever have to worry residential service Services are also available. Call us today at 717-8006 and we'll come out and give you a free quote. Taking care of your landscaping needs is all we do and we've been doing it for over 20 years. You can trust our reliable team at Dan Andrews Lawn Service covering all of Eastern North Carolina. Familia is your go-to spot for the best Italian dishes around including pizzas, pastas, salads, and homemade desserts. That's Familia. Enjoy half-off wine night on Wednesdays, $3 drafts on Thursdays, or get a pizza of the week for just 12 bucks. That's Familia. Place your order online or call 689-6330 and Familia will have your order ready in their drive-thru window for pickup. That's Familia. Clip, really? Oh, sorry. Familia on Fire Tower Road in Winterville near Pitt Community College. Pirate radio sounds different. Different is good. We are all the same. You'll be ashamed. Because different is good. Oh, yeah. Pirate. Pirate radio. Never made it as a wise man I couldn't get it as a ball and steel You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Down on Main Street, Washington's favorite place to eat and where all the locals go. Join Down on Main Street every Wednesday for half-price wings from 4 p.m. to close. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Uh, Country Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. And both Country Mart locations are top-of-the-line fuel stations serving Shell gas, um, including 93 ethanol-free high-octane gas. Country Mart filling you up with great food and your engines with great gasoline. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. Are the Orioles playing baseball yet? Or we still got weather? They were delayed. We were delayed. Uh, Braves and White Sox postponed. Dang, we ain't got an update in four hours from the Orioles website I don't know, or the Twitter account. Uh, Dixon, you playing the show at all? Yes, I hadn't. That's played. my bad in practice. So I'm. I hadn't. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> hadn't played since COVID and uh, got this year's game, and I realized that I am trash. Yeah, I, I think I used it's to be pretty game. good. Yeah. It's, if yeah, if you're not on it, then it's a tough game. But I there, there needs to be a stat on that what we start batting after MLB The Show comes it's out. There needs to be a stat on that. recognition training. I, I actually think it, your average goes up. Wow. That or Call of Duty comes out. is one of the most frustrating games to play because if you can't hit, you will not score and you will not win. Uh, yeah. Call of Duty? That or I'm saying the show or Call of Duty is one of the more frustrating games okay. to play. That's my well, point. Call of Duty is just aim. Yeah, that's, I'm saying if you suck yeah. at aiming, okay. you're going to die a lot. Right. And Early in the year, Danny wasn't playing a lot of Call of Duty, apparently. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Wasn't doing a lot of anything, apparently. <laughs> sorry. Okay, uh, speaking of Call of Duty, <laughs> DB, before you leave, I have to show you a video in reference to that. Okay. I just wanted to say that. You've been so summoned. I, you've been summoned. So 
come see me in Studio B and Charlie's during office. the break. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't hit. I can't do the pinpoint pitching. I can't do anything. Dude, just meter it and call it a day. Gotta, yeah, Get no, away yeah. If you can learn how to Dude. hit, you'll be fine. Yeah. Because pitching is so hard this year since they switched it up a little bit. They made it more difficult. So you're not hit, good with the pinpoint? Win. No. My my lines are very scribbly. Yeah. it's, it's You got to get that. You got to go all the way around. Get the circle. You can't, you can't like, try and... Yeah, you got to go you down. shortcut it. No. Meter. I need some thumb training. Like slam. It's not worth it. Take the easy way out. Just meter it. All right. That's what I've been nah, doing. Just, that's what I do. <laughs> that's soft. If it gets hit, it gets hit. Who cares? Soft. You'll... All right. DB, JC, Dixon Williams here. Uh, one clean shaven man, that being Jacob Jenkins Coward, who it's amazing how much uh, a mustache can change the look of a man. Yeah. But you were compared, you said the announcers compared you to uh, Keanu Reeves? Yeah, Shane Falco from The Replacements. And I uh, I was just watching at bats, and he said that, and I was like, man, that is awesome. (laughs) (laughs) It's not a bad guy to be compared to, man. Not at all. Uh, So, Dixon and Danny, uh, why are you keeping the stash? You first. I mean, it's my nickname from you guys. I've had this since, like, literally July. It's part of you. Yeah, it is my thing. So, And even Bailey was like, yeah, I get it. You don't have to shave it off when we did the shave off. So. It looks, it works for you. Although it works for JC too, I will say. Sure, I don't know why he shaved. I think, I think honestly, when you get to the end of March, you're kind of like, if it's not your thing, you're like, dude, this sucks. Like, get it off me. But other yeah. times, it's like, if you like it, it's your thing, then you'll keep it. It looks like by the end of the weekend, you'll have one. So maybe, but um, it, it's like my nervous tick to to twist it. And <laughs> I called myself a couple times, like yesterday and the day before, like reaching for it. It wasn't there. <laughs> uh, and Dixon. It's getting there. You're Tom Selleck. You got going over there? Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I might just need to go to Walgreens or something, pick me up a razor. Okay. What, Mine what are old. Yeah. 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 Rusted <laughs> in the shower, wherever they're at. Uh, Grimes on Bigfoot said Dixon had a great all around game last night. The AMAC blooper catch, uh, the catch of AMAC's blooper was ridiculous. And Dixon said he kind of blacked out and just made a play. That's pretty uh, much what's it. What's that guy's username? Grimes, uh, Grimes on Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Oh. So holding it. Grimes on. Holt Naylor saw a Bigfoot. Actually, has video evidence of it. That's not true. Yeah, he has video of it. I've seen the video. <laughs> I just don't believe the video. Actually, where's the video? Have us on the show. Maybe we it's, talk uh, about. It. It's more more possible that it was a Skinwalker than. No, whoa! Are real. What is that? A Skinwalker. It is, sounds like something like Game of Thrones or something. No, no, it's very <laughs> well known to the hunting community. I'm talking. It is a creature that can like shape shift into anything it wants to be like you ever seen a dog standing up on its hind legs oh my god yeah that thing yep there's no yeah. way like you have yeah i'm one. good on it that's like some stranger one, things heard, stuff right there so there's things like you, you'll just hear stuff in the woods man like one of my buddies has a, he like vividly heard his dad's voice like hey will will and his dad's like three miles away Yep, good on it. You don't whistle uh, in the woods on your own. Being in the woods on your own is scary, man. Wow. I don't care if you have a firearm. It's Yeah, okay. I like how you like completely shut down the Bigfoot thing. You're like, no, dude, it was a skinwalker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's pretty creepy. It's what were we even stories. talking about? Bigfoot. Oh, grounds on Bigfoot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, um, escalated quickly. Jamie brought up. So, were you batting during the standoff? The UAVs? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he says, "Did the ump say anything to you?" Yeah, I was like, I kind of knew what was going on because as I was walking to play, I heard what the coach was saying to the umpire and uh, Rob. I don't remember his last name, but Rob was his first name. Home plate umpire. After about a minute, I was like, "Hey, Rob, I don't blame you." He was like, "Some choice words. I ain't going out there." <laughs> He'll leave. He'll leave. And then, like, it got to, what, the three-minute mark. And he was like, ah, and just hit his walk out there. I do kind of love how, like, a bunch of grown people, you guys are young adults, old kids, however you want to call yourselves, but then you've got the managers and everything, how baseball turns people into little kids. Like, you see managers, like, throwing hats and kicking dirt and, like, You've got the uh, <laughs> passive aggressive stuff going on. Yeah, the spin move. My favorite Elliot is, Avent. <laughs> is JC. I think it was the Bryant. Or no, maybe it wasn't Bryant. But the one where Koshi's trying to give oh. one of the umpires hell, and you just like try to, to grab him, back him back. and he just like jukes you out of the way, <laughs> and gets around you. Yeah, yeah I, was, that, I made a mistake trying to hold him back. Yeah, 
that is fun because like a lot of times if you guys say something to the young and this happens probably more in the majors i don't see it a lot with you guys uh because y'all are pretty good about it but the manager tries to take the bullet for the player Mm -hmm. yeah um in that case you were trying to save cliff godwin i was trying to keep him in the game yeah (laughs) and he has not been ejected yet he's kind of made like a point to not do that this year i hope it has nothing to do with me and bailey like we have a bet that he will get ejected more than wow. twice this year. Really? More than yeah. twice this year. I don't know. I feel it's like crazy. now that all the Carolina year. games and the state games passed, he, I don't know. I don't know. He he was he was close at UTSA because that, yeah. yeah. that coach was giving him a hard time, but he composed himself and held it through the weekend. So, yeah. It was close. It's, uh, it's going to happen at least once this year. Got to. I don't think it will. I'm be honest. I, I really might take don't. Under on that one. Yeah, I think. Wow. I think yeah. he's pretty. He's pretty set in his ways where he's like calm and not going to lose his mind anymore. Mm. Okay. Did you take over too? Yeah. yeah. I, I, That's crazy. I kind of brought it it's up immediately. Yeah, I don't blame you. So why would you go over? Too? How many did you do last year? It was just Campbell last year, wasn't just it? One, right? The nah, one. It was UNCW too. He got tossed to UNCW last year? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the yeah, Campbell one was after the game, no, no, but that away. counts. UNCW away, oh, he, he got didn't tossed. Get tossed. That counts. He, he, he got ejected out. He did not. Yes, he did. More than got tossed than he did. It was after yeah. the game. Oh, he did He did still yeah. get tossed. Because yeah. remember, never mind, I can't say it. So but. he got tossed three times last year. No. You, it was at UNCW he got no. tossed because Coach P told me to start warming up, oh, not yeah. Coach G. Facts. I don't remember that. Yeah, because I got taken out of the game. Usually when Coach G gets tossed, I, I come out with him. <laughs> it's like, it's, yeah. I'm out? All right, JC, here, come on. Yeah. What, do you got to go talk it's with like, him or something? Like three times. <laughs> I remember uh, that game that we were just talking No wonder about. you're trying to keep him in games. <laughs> like that game where I, had, where I tried That's to hold funny. him back, I actually went out to right field for the next inning. And they got last out. And then I see, got like, called back. I, I remember Carter that. Jogging out the right field. He's like, hey, you're, you're done. I was like, shouldn't have. That's awesome. That's so funny. Uh, I hadn't mentioned Carter. Oh, a couple individuals want to talk about Carter uh, playing great. Hitting oh, yeah, great, as always. As usual. Uh, how about Ethan Norby's performance uh, in his first start? He's been awesome. Yeah. He's been, especially at UTSA, where you're, they're hitting around a first rounder pretty good, and then him just come in there and do three shut out, like not getting a chance to even get yeah, a guy on base. It was out. nails. Um, and then, obviously, on Saturday, it was a weird situation because Jake had pitched the day before, and we were just kind of like a... I mean, we didn't, as a collective staff, and even a team, we didn't know who was starting, some of us, until we got to the field the next day. So for him to come in and go above and beyond expectations from, I think, his perspective even, along with the teams, was phenomenal. And then he's he's going to get a lot more opportunities. He's going to be great for years to come. Yeah, uh, great start to his uh, pirate career, and uh, his brother playing well as well. Oh, Shirley yeah. said he hit another dinger last night, Connor Norby. So I think we got the call of that. You know yes, I, mean? I have it. Give me just one Pretty second. Pretty sure the Norfolk Tides could compete in the big leagues. <laughs> yes, that they could. They are crazy. stacked. Unreal. Could Norfolk beat the Mets? Yes. Brent. Yes. Yeah, okay. they, Dan, Dan yes. Hurley got asked today if they could beat the Pistons on the Pat McAfee show, and he was like, dude, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the uh, audio. All right. This one is lifted to left field very high. Kolas drifting back. It's still going. And that one's going to fly out of here. It just kept going and going. And Norby has gone back to back with Holiday. You know, off the bat, that didn't look like it was going to get to the warning track. And then it just kept going. Fun fact, Ethan said they're, new, they're uh, roommates. Him and Holiday. I hope they're roommates in Baltimore. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. No kidding. They hit like four or five home runs in that game last night. Mm-hmm. The opening day game, I saw a picture of the box score, and all nine of the starters, I think, either had one had or hit, like yeah. seven of them had multiple hits. There's still cursed out there, too, which is unreal. He was the man in college. Was he a number one pick? First rounder, I reckon. First, yeah. yeah, he was. He's first rounder. Uh, all right, fellas, final question. Uh, Jamie said, what went wrong with the Chon tripod debacle? Oh, windy day. And if you look at the tripod, man, the legs are, I mean, it's super tall. It's like four or five feet, but the legs are like eight inches. Like, what do you expect? Which Come, on, Sean. Come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. <laughs> I, re- I retweeted that. That was so funny. Come on, Sean. Led to us. And he was also unfocused. Man. He's like, he was like looking down on his own phone. Sounds right. Yeah. Come on, Sean. <laughs> now we have that sound bite forever. Every time he screws up. Come on, Come on, Come on Sean. Come on, Sean. I like the <laughs> emphasis on the Sean. So there you go. Uh, uh, fellas, keep up the good work. Uh, have fun in Boca de Thon. You guys don't really get to enjoy the 
the locale, do you? What's so you funny, dude? How did you say that? Boca Raton. Uh, Boca Raton. Can Boca, we get that clip what? back one more time? Come on, I really got to hear that one. Hey, Charlie, come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. Sean. <laughs> Dixon loves it. Yeah, we'll have nuts. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have some off time. I think That's we'll get one. on Friday. So, what's uh, your favorite travel city? Uh, man. Clearwater. Yeah, I mean, and it's the obvious, but in conference oh. <laughs> city. I like Cincinnati, <laughs> but they're gone. You gotta like include everything. Houston was great last year because the Final Four was on while we were there, but and the food we got was oh, phenomenal. Man. Since he was good. Since he was good. Noel was good. I mean, the hotel we stayed at two years ago, Noel was nice because we, one of the players that left got a picture with Ed Orgeron in the elevator. Funny. <laughs> Coach O. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a few. I mean, we need a picture with Coach O and Coach O. Do you think yeah. Coach O knows who Coach O is? Which one? Which <laughs> you, you, you tell me. <laughs> As Dixon would say, yes. 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 Uh, sure does. Thank you, fellas. Have a good weekend. Thank you. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you, too. DB, JC, DW, joining us here in the Pirate Radio Studios. Pirates winners of five in a row. And they will be uh, taking on the Owls of FAU this weekend. We'll take a break. When we return, uh, we'll talk to Kim McNeil. Talk about their run in the AAC Women's Basketball Tournament. The Women's Final Four. Got camps coming up this summer. Also in hour number three, Hold Naylor. So uh, big hour three on tap. We'll be back with you, Pirate Radio Live, after this. Pirate Fest, presented by Optimum, offers a full day of piratical tomfoolery for all ages. This free event includes over 125 vendors, food trucks, art demos, inflatables, and of course, pirates. Join us on Saturday, April 20th, from 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. for live pirate reenactments, great food, and so much more. Finish off the day with a concert at the Greenville Toyota Amphitheater from Sister Hazel with special guest Taylor Holder. For more information, visit PirateFestNC.com. It's going to be awesome. This is Aaron Williams with New Blue Service Group. People have been asking, what's new at New Blue? And I'm always glad to tell them that we now specialize in crawl space moisture control and encapsulations, along with septic system repairs and installations. As always, we offer plumbing, electrical, and HVAC, all while redefining service excellence. So go ahead, contact us at callnewblue.com. That's callnublue.com. Go Pirates! Southern Ease has arrived, Pirate Nation. Whether you savor the bourbon flavor or indulge in other delightful options, Southern Ease gummies are here to elevate your moments. And here's the best part. You can enjoy them with an exclusive discount. Head over to southernease.com now and use the code PIRATE at checkout for a fantastic 25% off your first order. At Southern Ease, you can be living life to your fullest, one sweet moment at a time. Southernease.com. Come experience Greenville's newest theater, Golden Ticket Cinemas, located on Greenville Boulevard near Cracker Barrel. With stadium seating and reserved luxury recliners, you can enjoy the movie along with great concessions such as L House sliders, delicious wings, pizza, and hot dogs. And they even have milkshakes. You can always find great deals at Golden Ticket Cinemas such as 550 Ticket Tuesdays and free family movies at 11 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show in style with luxurious amenities and top-notch service at Golden and ticket cinemas. This is Holt Nailers for my friends at Anson Belts, the belts that I wear. Go to AnsonBelt.com to find micro-adjustable holeless belts with over 30-plus options of a quarter inch apart instead of your typical five holes one inch apart, always giving you the perfect fit every time. If your waist fluctuates, Anson Belt is great because you can always find the perfect fit any time of the year. AnsonBelt.com, over 10,000 combinations to choose from, a belt for every occasion, and the official belt of the Holt Nailer Show. Want a great lunch with quick service? Huckleburger. Need a place to dine out with the family tonight? Huckleburger. The fastest full service restaurant in town. Huckleburger. Huckleburger is committed to three core values. Highest level of customer service, high quality delicious food, and lightning speed. The Huckleburger menu features delicious burgers, cheesesteaks, chicken sandwiches, black bean burgers, salads, and much more. Huckleburger in Greenville near Lowe's on Memorial Drive and off of 15th Street near the movie theater in Washington. Huckleburger. Delicious, fast, fresh, and friendly. 
Hey, Pirate Nation, it's Caleb with Strouds Marine. Boating season is here, and at Strouds Marine, we are stocked up with over 20,000 pre-owned parts. We've got everything you need from propellers, lower units, trim units, electrical and fuel parts, and just about anything else you need for an outboard. Speaking of outboards, we will buy your old ones. And as always, our mission is to save you money and get you back out on the water as quickly as possible. Visit StroudsMarine.com today for more information. Strouds Marine, your best source for salvaged outboard parts. Jimmy John's has great taste wrapped up. All your favorite Jimmy John's sandwiches are now available as a wrap. Enjoy all natural meats, cheeses, and hand-sliced veggies bundled into a convenient grab-and-go wrap that's made when you order it. Top it off with sensational sides, including new homestyle potato salad and bow tie pasta salad. Wrap your taste buds around Jimmy John's new wraps. And don't forget their loyalty app with a free sandwich after your first visit. Jimmy John's in Greenville and Wilson and online at jimmyjohns.com. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. I see you. Hey, come on. Let's get it crunk. Let's get it crunk up on that farm. Up on up in this dance floor. We got y'all over. Now you're floating. So you've got the dance floor. We don't need it. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Washington's favorite place to eat and where all the locals go is down on Main Street. Down on Main Street's famous weekday lunch specials are only $7.99. You can stop by for the house salad with grilled chicken, the half club sandwich with chips or everyone's favorite the fried shrimp plate after work down on main is the perfect spot for dinner and drinks on the patio and every wednesday you can join down on main for half price wings from 4 p.m to close down on main street on main street in historic downtown washington now let's head back in to prl here is your host clip brock <laughs> kim mcneil is here so I, I kind of feel bad for bringing her in here now the Uh-oh. busiest woman in the world. No. Because oh, what'd you it, do? If it doesn't have to do with basketball, she's got kids and Little League and I was getting ready to say, is Little League starting up now? At opening ceremonies on Friday night at Elm oh, Street. Oh, okay. All yep. Right. So there we go. We yep. got uh, year-round sports uh, with the McNeils, uh, along with everything else going on in their lives. But happy to have Kim McNeil here on a Wednesday to recap the basketball season and also get her thoughts on what's coming up in the women's Final Four. But uh, first of all, Coach, thank you for coming. And uh, another kind of an odd year this year. I, I, I got to be honest, I kind of gave up on – a great season once the injuries started to yeah. pile up with Sania and then unfortunately we were at the game uh, where Micah uh, got injured mm-hmm. and I said it's never a good coach when Sania has to pass her crutches and then go get a scooter right. so Micah I was like good this is terrible Crazy. but but man you, you guys were able to overcome it and, and really inspirational run there in the tournament yeah you know obviously coming into the season you know we were looking to repeat you know I, I felt like we had um, a chance to be better than what we were last year um, you know still early on you know trying to fit in the new kids and everybody understanding their role but you know when we lost Sania you know that was tough she's our defensive catalyst I always say you know she's the brains to the operation and then the next game we play South Carolina and Micah goes down four minutes into the game and the way she screamed I knew it wasn't good um, but obviously still you know trying to stay positive and we found out you know three or four day, days later you know she was out so you know had to do a lot of moving around playing some kids out of position you know Karina Gore and I recruited her to be a shooter and she ended up having to play point guard for me Bobby Smith you know has pretty much played every position for us in her two years except for the five you know had to play some point guard as well um, so we, we hit our bumps but I you know as, as a coach staff we still were encouraged because we felt like we had two of the better players in the league in Danae McNeil and Amaya Joyner um, and, and so but you know playing without a point guard is like playing football without a quarterback <laughs> and, and we really hit our you know had some some rough times there but for us to to make that run that we did you know in the conference championship you know was extremely proud you know of the team but obviously everybody just remembers how you finished and obviously that rice game we we didn't compete we didn't you know play the way we knew we could play but 
you know, proud of, you know, winning 19 games, going 500 in the league, making it to the championship two years in a row. And, you know, once again, got a, a, a lot of that nucleus coming back this year. And that is very exciting. Coach, when you, you as a player, as a coach, as a basketball viewer, a sports fan, you know injuries happen. Yeah. And But it, it, it's, it's kind of rare when they pile up mm-hmm. with, with so many important pieces to your team. And the players are looking to you for confidence. Mm-hmm. And, all right, coach, so what do we do from here? Yep. Uh, well, who does the coach look to? I mean, how you, you've you got to find that within yourself to say, to still believe. And, and do you talk to Coach Corey? Do you have mentors? Like, how do you kind of get it in your head that you can still do this so you can convey that to your players? A lot time? of praying at night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Um, it, just um, understanding, like I said, that I, you know, I still felt like we had two of the better players in the league, right. Nate McNeil and Maya Joyner. You know, they had to take a lot, a lot, more on assist this year, especially Danae. We had to depend on her, you know, to handle the ball a lot more where she was used to Micah really setting her up. You know, she had to set herself up, and I think her game grew, you know, with doing that, and I think she's going to have an unbelievable professional career. Um, but it also gave those young kids a lot of, a lot of experience. You know, uh, I was hoping and thinking that this year we were going to have the, mo- the most depth we've had, and that depth became starters. You know, so they logged in, started minutes, minutes that I didn't anticipate them playing. Um, But, yeah, just a lot of conversation with the coaching staff, changing up some things offensively, you know, experimenting defensively. You know, we weren't as good defensively as we've been in the past. But, um, you know, I always like to take the good from the bad. And the good is those young kids got a lot of experience that are going to help them next year. And uh, the run in the tournament, you're talking about an experienced team uh, with with tournament experience. That is the CCU women's basketball team uh, knocking off the eight seed Memphis. Then you go and you take out the one seed. And and even at the time, and and this is not disrespecting Tulsa, but it felt like a beatable one seed because your league, heck, you guys were in the mix for the top seed with (laughs) a few games left, (laughs) right? Exactly. So it was a a very balanced, I guess, league this year, wouldn't you say? It was. It was. You know, you had a, it was a log jam. Yeah. You know, a lot of teams with the same record and they end up coming down to tiebreakers and who beat who and all this, you know. Um, so we could have easily, we were one game out of that top four. You know, you <laughs> take back that quadruple overtime mm. game against North Texas. We win that, we're in fourth. Um, you, you win, um, what's another game we lost? Memphis at home. We win that. And, you know, win the North Texas, we're in third. You know, so we're one or two games out of the top four. So, you know, I kept saying after every win we, we had at the, at the post game, I was like, we're not the number nine seed. You know, we're better than the ninth team in this league. And I thought it was a misprint the day of the championship game when I saw Rice as a 10 seed. I'm like, what? That, yeah. I remember they beat East Carolina pretty good, they and they did. could shoot the ball, and uh, and they looked the same in the championship, unfortunately, as they looked yeah. when they came to Menji's, but uh, had a good uh, inside presence and could shoot mm-hmm. just a tough matchup all around. Yeah, they um, after, I think after we lost to them at their place, they went on like a five or six game losing streak, um, which really, you know, caused them to, to finish 10th. But, you know, just a bad matchup for us. Um, they whooped us pretty good, you know, <laughs> three times this season. Um, kind of like Tulsa used to do us. You know, we finally figured out how to how to beat Tulsa. You know, so, you know, this league is um, it's a lot of depth in this league. Those new teams added some dimensions that we hadn't had with a lot of shooting. You know, UAB can shoot the crap out of the ball. Rice can shoot it. Um, you know, UT San Antonio is going to be really, really good again next year. They don't lose a- anybody. Um, and North Texas, you know, they those new teams added some dimensions that we hadn't had before. Could this be the norm, at least for the next few years, Coach, the, the league kind of being open for the taking and the best team is not that much better than maybe the worst team? in the league? you think it's going to be like that? I, I think so. You know, obviously I'm biased. I feel like if we wouldn't have had those injuries, we would have won the league. Yeah. You know, and we, if people talk a lot about, you know, us not having Micah Dennis, us not having Sunia Johnson, but Jayla Earp, she was out didn't to play start either, the season, you know, because yeah. she went down in our championship game last year, and so she didn't play at all. So I had three guards on the bench that could have started for anybody in this conference. And you know, as you said before, you know, injuries are a part of the game, and it is what it is. But it just sucks that you know all three of those young ladies were sitting the bench because you know those new teams really didn't get a true um, feel for. ECU defense and what ECU is all about. 
Kim McNeil joining us uh, and, and coaching women's basketball in a a pretty interesting time. I don't want to be like a, a victim of the moment, but we started the show yesterday talking women's basketball because yeah. I did watch Iowa and LSU yeah. the other night because I didn't want to miss something great happening. Yeah. And and damn, at first I thought they were going to score 150 points know, apiece. Right? <laughs> um, but Caitlin Clark, as advertised, uh, the Johnson for LSU is so much mm-hmm. fun to watch. Plage, yeah. She is incredible. And of course, you know Angel Reese and Kim Mulkey's outfits. So I mean, it is a show. <laughs> oh, it's like a movie um but is there kind of a renaissance here with do you feel like you're in something like that right now it's women's it has grown these yeah. last couple of years you know I, i've talked to where was i, I was yet somewhere yesterday and oh i was on monday i was in i went to raleigh took my daughter to crabtree um, mall and we were in the apple store and i had on my pirate um shirt and the guy asked me you know if i went to ecu and i told him you know i'm with women's basketball and he was like we love women's basketball. He's like, I can name more women's basketball players in the NCAA than I can men. We talked about that yesterday. You know? yeah. And and it, it's just crazy. It, it's such a great thing for women's basketball. It's such a great thing for, for women athletes and for, for the sport. And I think we're just going to continue to grow. This Final Four is kind of the matchups are going to be crazy. You know, Caitlin, Caitlin Clark, you know, going up against um, – you know, uh, UConn, and then you got South Carolina. Who that that that's my pick. You know, I'm picking South Carolina to win the whole thing. Um, but it, it's going to be an unbelievable, you know, Final Four. NC State, you know, they're in it right down the road. Who would have ever thought they started the season off not even being ranked, um, and they just got some kids that are just 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 working and playing really really well together. Um, so it's going to be a great Final Four, and I'm just so happy that women's basketball is finally starting to get the attention that it needs to get. Are you pulling for South Carolina because maybe the relationship with Staler because you you played them earlier this year? Is all the above? Is all it? the above, and I think they they're just the better team. Right. You know they got an unbelievable inside presence. They're bringing off McDonald's All Americans, top five kids in the country off the bench. You know I think they have the deepest bench. I think they're the most experienced team as far as their coaching staff and some of those players being in that position before. You know so. That's that's where that's where I'm going with. Solomon Menjis and it was it was like five to four early, and then you yeah. blink and it's eighteen to six, and yeah. it just they, it gets away from you. And I know you you don't think your team played the best they could have that day, but they are a machine. They they really <laughs> are. You know when we decided to put them on on a schedule, you know I was like, okay, they're losing their whole starting five. It's a great time to play them, and We're then they them. just you know bring in a handful of mcdonald's all americans again and i watched them you know three or four times before we you know got ready to play i'm like darn it they're better than what they were last year <laughs> like they normally couldn't shoot the ball and now they're you know leading the country in three-point shooting pow pow is just knocking it down and you know uh all the, these young ladies are hitting outside shots and then they have the inside presence so it's like you got to you know pick your poison but you know, i thought we battled with them it was an extremely physical game and you know, uh, I think I don't. We we wouldn't have beat them, but if Micah could have stayed healthy, that that definitely would have helped us offensively. Kim McNeil joining us, Pirate Radio Studios, uh, Coach. How about the the roster and uh, in this new world of transfer portal? Yeah. You never know from year to year. You can uh, lose a team, you can improve a team. Yep. Uh, there's good and bad. How about this off season? What are the kind of keys for you? You said you got a lot of returners coming back, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, what are you looking to add to the roster? Yeah, well, we're losing a 20-point score, yeah. <laughs> you know, in Danae McNeil, which, you know, we're not going to fill that void with one person. There's going to have to be multiple people that are going to have to step up and, you know, increase their their, their um, scoring for us. Um, you know, we're still waiting to hear back from, the, from you know, the appeal process with Micah and whether or not they're, okay. they're going to give her her year back. So, obviously, if Micah gets her year back, that's a scholarship for her, and I'll be left with one. Um, and with that, I still want another, another guard. You know, if I didn't learn anything this year, was you got to have multiple kids that can handle the ball and they can run the point for you. Um, obviously, my first choice is that Micah gets her year back. Um, if not, you know, we'll go on the portal and, you know, grab two people off the portal. But, you know, we still, you know, we, ha- we have a lot. You know, those young kids, you know, um, Karina Gordon got a lot of time. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Kaya Miller came, you know, those last four or five games really started to play the way I knew she could play, averaging, you know, 10 or 12 points for us in those that last five games. You know, I got all my bigs coming back, and Amaya Jordan and, and Tatiana and, and, and um, Talia Weish. You know, I'm going to look for more out of them. You know, Tati has to be a double-figure scorer for us every night. Mama needs to be averaging about 15, 16. And anytime, if you look at those stat sheets, anytime those two average the double double, good things happen for us. You know, so that has to be a, a night in, night out thing that they're averaging double double for us. Jayla Earp is a great scorer for us. Going to be looking for things from her. 
you know so how is she right now she's doing is really she... well. Jayla was practicing by 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 january okay you know we just didn't feel like it was worth bringing her back right you know so we wanted to keep her out and get her fully confident in herself um and she had some really great practices where she was lighting them up in practice so you know she's excited to be back we're excited to have her back you know so you know just filling that point guard but um void i have a freshman coming in um from detroit um who's a point guard uh but I would like to have some experience starting, you know, at, at that spot. And then her, you know, coming off the bench and giving us some good minutes. She's feisty. She's small, but she's feisty. She defends. She's She can see the floor. She can hit the open three. You know, then we have another young lady, about 6'2", six, 6'3", six, coming from the Raleigh area that gives us some more size. Different than Amaya and Tati and Talia, where she's a little bit more slender. Um, she has a really nice shot from the outside, really athletic, really long. So she could possibly play, you know, the top of our press, top of our matchup to give us some more length up there. So... Um, excited about next year's team. I think we're going to be really, really good again. And uh, the the one key missing piece, Danae, as you mentioned, you said yeah. you expect her to have a great pro career. Do you, will that be here in the States, in the WNBA? Will it be elsewhere? What do you think about her you know, prospects? It, it, we've been working here the last couple of weeks you know, with her looking at some agents and kind of just seeing, you know, where, where people are seeing and what they're looking at. The unfortunate thing is there's not a lot of roster spots in the WNBA because there's just not a lot of teams. So there's not a lot of room. There's not, not a lot of movement. And, you know, there's three rounds of the draft. But, you know, if you're not getting drafted in the first round, you know, you're probably not going to make a team. You know, two years ago, the number one draft pick, she's cut. She got cut. Wow. You know, so it's just not it's not the same as on the men's side. So. You know, we're, we're talking to some agents, you know, um, seeing what, what people are thinking about her. You know, if she doesn't get drafted, maybe she can, you know, make a um, be a free agent and, you know, go and make somebody, you know, go get a, a 10 day contract or something and kind of up her 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 um, stock to go overseas because that's really where they make their money. Yeah, they, we were talking about that yesterday. That's, yeah, that's where they make their money. Unfortunately, that's where they make their Interesting. money. Interesting. Yeah. Um, and so you go over there and you play in some of the, the Euro leagues and, you know, put up some good numbers. And then, you know, they're expanding next year with two more teams in the WNBA, which might give her an opportunity to, you know, get a chance next year. Kim McNeil joining us, Pirate Radio Studios. I uh, saw this, Coach. Uh, we'll talk about your camps in a moment. But uh, Team Boneyard is doing some, some fun auction items with yeah. different sports. And uh, with Kim McNeil, Neil, you can join her for an exclusive film breakdown session and deep dive uh, into the makings of a champion. So, a film sesh with Kim McNeil <laughs> is available for auction. Yeah, that should be fun. Just see what it looks like on the inside. You know, people just think we just roll the ball out. And <laughs> there's a lot of film study, a lot of breaking down, a lot of scouting reports. So, you know, there, there's a lot to that goes on behind the scenes that people don't realize. I'll be honest. To me, it looks like chaos. But I've talked to Coach. I mean, Coach Mack will say it every time your name comes up. It, it is the most one of the most unique defenses he's seen and that's why it's successful because a lot of people don't see it or, yeah. or use it so uh if coach mac tells me something i, I listen to it and, <laughs> and you've told me too coach but yeah. uh there's a lot that goes into it with uh with this kim mcneil defense and this uh this entire basketball program how about camps coach this will be a, a fun time for you coming up this summer you get to get the girls in and 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 some future pirates but yeah. also kids that want to have fun too right yeah, and actually the numbers are looking really good right now. Awesome. Way ahead of what they were last year. I guess winning helps, huh? Sure. <laughs> well, winning is always great. Yeah, it's crazy. I looked at it because I always get a report of people signing up, and right after the week after we made the run in the tournament, the numbers just shot up. <laughs> you know, no, but we have you know just like we did last year, some exciting camps coming up. We got a day camp um, from ages um, great. K to 4, that's a half a day, 9 to 12. And then from ages 5 to 9, you can come all day. That's June 17th through the 20th. And then we've got a shooting camp uh, from ages eight, uh, grades 8 to 12. And that's June 26th through the 27th from 9 to 1 p.m. It's really neat because you look at what the NBA did. The Dream Team kind of set it off, but the amount of foreign players that have come in the NBA mm -hmm. since then, I I think Vince Carter and probably T Mac had a lot to do with all the Canadian players we now see in college and the NBA. But like Caitlin Clark and, and stars in the women's game, so many more girls are I see like in the stands watching the game wearing a Caitlin Clark jersey yeah. or their favorite player. So that can only bring positivity for women's basketball in the future right with kids and things like that it definitely does um you know i tell my girls every day whether you want to be or not you're a role model 
You know, these little girls and boys are, are yeah. looking up to you and, and saying, I want to be like Danae McNeil one day. You know, I want to be like Sania Johnson one, one day. I want to, you know, be like Amaya Joyner. You know, so, you know, we really pride ourselves on, you know, how we carry ourselves and, and the character. But it, it's just great to see. It's great to see the lines. You know, you watch on ESPN and I think all – but two games of Iowa's games have been sold out this year and the line has been crazy around the corner. I mean, you look at it, she's gotten an offer from Ice Cube to play in his three-on-three league. He's <laughs> yeah. offered her $5 million. Big three. And that's smart on his part because he's going to bring all the, the crowd that has come to watch her play. He's going to make his money back easily because everybody's going to want to come and see her yep. and see her play against guys. So, it's just evolving. Women's basketball is really evolving and I'm excited for it. No doubt. Uh, Kim McNeil joining us. Uh, your son, uh, East U Women's Basketball super fan. Love the videos <laughs> oh of him mic'd up. Yeah. We're going to have to go uh, root him on at Elm Street, right? Yes, so please do. He's getting ready for Little League Baseball? Yep. Opening ceremonies on Friday night. So, you know, I just think the park at Elm Street is just unbelievable. It's a great place for the kids to come and have fun. And yeah. just that's where I'll be living my Friday and Saturday <laughs> nights, um, er, you know, throughout this whole summer. And we talk about, you know, not wanting to lose Kim McNeil to another school. Uh, she's Your family's so ingrained here. Yeah. I think the community helps keep coaches here a lot, honestly. They do, uh, you know. <laughs> my kids all the time you know it's funny my son he we just sat down and had a conversation about the mcdonald's all-american game last night and he was like mom you ruckers is gonna be really good they got the number two recruit you know they got this they got that and, and the number one player is going to duke and he had 20 points last night he just he's in tune to everything so he's in tune to the job openings and all that he's like mommy you're not trying to leave are you i don't want to leave greenville i want to stay here we can't move da, da, da. awesome so they yeah they love here at greenville and just the community has really the baseball community has really taken a liking to, to ecu and basketball that is fantastic uh coach appreciate you joining us no, thanks uh, for having me we'll clamp down clan for life here is uh <laughs> love watching you uh you girls out there and we'll uh we'll do it again next season and well uh may, maybe talk to you again closer to those camps if you or if you need anything from us let us yeah, know that's great How about thank that? you appreciate it uh let's take a break we'll come back more to go pirate radio live holt nailers will join us got the whole nailers show coming up on thursday he'll talk to isaiah winstead who called the first touchdown in ufl history on saturday that was cool to see and Ezra Azar, who unfortunately is leaving East Carolina basketball, uh, get his take on why he is choosing to enter the portal. So that's coming up on the Holt Naylor Show on Thursday. We got more to go. Uh, Pirate Radio Live after this. Come on, everybody get on now. Cause you know we got to get it from. Mary Jack is in the spot tonight. And I'm going to make it feel all right. The Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of pirates in eastern North Carolina. Open seven days a week with live music, Monday through Wednesday, acoustic night. Thursday, we have line dancing from 7 to 9, followed by karaoke with DJ Dog. On Friday and Saturday night, enjoy the best local bands in the area. Check out Facebook and Instagram for all up-to-date information and band schedules. Y'all come get bucked up! Pestec wants to thank Pirate Nation for voting them the number one pest control company in eastern North Carolina. Pestec is a full-service pest control company, offering a complete range of indoor and outdoor pest management and extermination services. Your experience is the Pestec guarantee, with a promise to deliver you results while keeping you, your family, and the environment safe. Call the best of the best to get rid of your pests. 353-4760. Pestec, the official pest control company of Pirate Radio. Country Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Both Country Mart locations are top of the line fuel stations serving shell gas including 93 ethanol free high octane gas which is the best for all you boat owners. Country Mart fueling you up with great food in your engines with great gasoline. Go Pirates! Hey, Pirate Nation, this is Wyatt Lunsford Shankman, and the best place to go for custom t shirts, apparel, or promotional items is University Sportswear. University Sportswear hit a home run for me when I needed my custom shirts. From start to finish, University Sportswear provided superior customer service and quality product that cannot be beat. If your business, organization, or event needs t shirts or promotional help, then you need to visit University Sportswear. Visit University Sportswear, ENC.com, for contact information. Go, Pirates! You want subs made with high-quality meats and cheeses, you go to Jersey Mike's. You want high-quality radio ideas, you go to me, like this. I'm an astronaut on a mission to find water on the moon. But because I'm a genius, I realize that what humanity actually needs in space is high-quality meats and cheeses from Jersey Mike's. 
Now to figure out how to remove the helmet and eat the sub without my head exploding. Here goes nothing. Always high quality meats and cheeses. Jersey Mike's, a sub above. Your first stop for shopping is at Shimmer Boutique. This is Ashley from Shimmer. We are fully stocked with the latest apparel, shoes, and accessories, and more. If you need gift ideas or some shopping therapy for yourself, stop by today. Looking for the hottest shoes on the market? Shimmer has the biggest selection of Hey Dudes anywhere. Shimmer has the newest Yeti products and colors. Want this year's most popular bag? Shimmer has a great selection of all your bog bag needs and accessories. Shimmer in Greenville, Winterville, and Jacksonville. It's bow time. <laughs> When you combine the bold taste of a Bojangles Chicken Supreme with dill pickles, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go, you get Bo's Bird Dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks, available for a limited time only. It's bow time. <coughs> it's bow time. <coughs> Bojangles' new chicken rice bowl is bold from the bottom up with a base of dirty rice, Cajun Pintos, grilled chicken or Supremes, and a sprinkle of cheese. Like it hot? Add a dash of Texas Pete. Head to Bojangles and try the new chicken rice bowl for a limited time. It's bow time. <coughs> University PC Care in Greenville and New Bern has been serving the tech repair needs of Eastern North Carolina since 2006. And as one of the only Apple authorized service providers east of Raleigh, all our technicians are Apple certified and we only use genuine Apple parts. Your iPhone and Mac warranties are safe with us. Have questions or need service? Call 252-558-1280 or visit us online at universitypccare.com. University PC Care, your one-stop shop for service on everything Apple. Pirate radio. Pirate radio. Pirate. 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 Pirate radio. Radio. Clap your hands like this. And what I want you to do is listen. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Russell's in downtown Washington is the place to shop for all of your clothing needs, whether it's the great collection of men's suits and sport coats, beautiful dresses and casual attire for women, or outerwear for both men and women Russell's has you covered Russell's clothing has served Eastern North Carolina and beyond for over 40 years Russell's clothing on Main Street in downtown Washington and the Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of pirates they're open 7 days a week with live music every night with the best lineup of bands on the weekends and the best part is ladies get in free Sunday fun day features free pizza all day long uh, with 18 TVs to view all of the sports action they also have cornhole tournaments that start at Three o'clock. You can check them out on Facebook and Instagram for the latest. And we'll see you at the Buck. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. Hi, right, back with you, Pirate Radio Live on a Wednesday. Thanks to Kim McNeil for joining us. Also, the baseball boys, Ken Wildington. And uh, right now, we'll head out to the Pirate Radio Live line. Talk to the host of the Holt Naylor Show, former ECU QB. He is Holt Naylor's joining us today on Pirate Radio Live. Holt, how you doing, man? What's up, man? How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. Uh, and Holton uh, coming off uh, the Arlington Renegades first game. Man, it was awesome to see Isaiah Winstead get in the end zone. First touchdown in UFL history. And uh, and wanted to, and you got some TV time over there on the sidelines, Holt. And, and wanted to ask you, I was thinking about it, from your, and I can even go before Conley, I guess your Little League days to Conley to ECU. You're used to playing in football games. Uh, didn't play in your first one here at East Carolina. Got in on the second. You had that uh, false COVID test uh, positive uh, that kept you out of the game. But other than that, you played in, in every game in your ECU career, right? So what's it like you know, going to Seattle and getting in some preseason, but then either having to be on the sidelines or watch from home and then watching from the sidelines over this weekend? Is that How, how tough is that to get used to holding with a guy that's played so much football your, your entire our life basically yeah it is tough i mean i'm not going to sit here and say it's easy but i'm just be a good teammate and you know hopefully we play good it was awesome to see they play good but you know hopefully there's some turn of the tides here soon and i get a chance to go out there and show what i can do so uh, i'm just gonna continue to do as much as i can during practice to show what i can do and you know hopefully uh, it all ends up you know the way it's supposed to yeah, and I mean, you kind of, I don't know if luck's the word, because you make your own luck with all the work you put in, but not a lot of guys, you know, get to play as much as you did in college. You're all Every quarterback at one point in time was a backup, and you were a backup for like one game, your ECU career, right? 
<laughs> yeah, literally the first game, and then that was pretty much it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully it worked out. You know, I'm, I'm just going to stay positive. I'm, I love it in Texas, like I said on the show before. I mean, I love it here. The, the team, my teammates are great, coaches are great. So um, I think it's going to work out. You know, I'm just going to, like I said, just keep balling and practice and, you know, see where it ends up. How is the atmosphere comparable to, uh, you know, a high school playoff game, a college football Saturday, a NFL a preseason game? Uh, what was it like holding there playing uh, in the UFL? I'll tell you, it was pretty cool, honestly. I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, I know uh, this week we're playing St. Louis. They're expecting to sell out in the Dome, so, you know, 60, 65,000, which would be cool. Um, but it was fun. I think we had like 15,000, which, I mean, be honest some of the american in our american conference away games i mean we played in front of that crowd so um they were they were electric you know we had you know beyond sanders here troy aikman the rock so, <laughs> um the tv uh with you know million literally over a million people watching the game i mean it's pretty cool they, they definitely do a good professional job of it um you know obviously we got some good fans but there's some you know big time fan bases around the league so i'm excited to kind of go to st louis this week and you know see what it's all about yeah, it was pretty cool to check you out. Uh, I was over at my parents on Sunday. My dad flipped over and uh, saw Greg Williams on the sidelines, former uh, Washington defensive coordinator, head coach, and DJ Swearinger making a play. I was like, "This guy's in the league." So you you kind of you kind of told me some big names since uh, since we've been having our conversations. But it's uh, it's pretty cool to see these names popping up. It is, yeah. I mean, St. Louis is quarterback. AJ McCarron, the uh, <laughs> NFL guy, who literally was with the Bengals this year. Yeah, um, the league got some big names, some good talent. So, a little sloppy week one, but I mean, that's we have a, a really fast camp, and they just get into it. So, I'm sure that you know that'll get cleaned up, you know, as the season goes on. Oh, Naylor's a former ECU starter. The Pirates right now holding, it looks like there is a legit battle going on. And I'm hearing that, you know, I, I don't know if Caden Hauser was the front runner going into this, but I hear Jake Garcia is looking really, really good out there. Uh, now, last year we heard that, you know, we thought Mason Garcia was going to be the guy. And then we kind of started hearing more about Alex Flynn. And, and maybe there was a battle where nobody could really overtake it. This year sounds a little bit different. Um, and again, I'm not out there at practice and not in Mike Houston's office hearing those conversations. But really, uh, sounds like Hauser and Garcia are are performing pretty well right now in spring ball, Holton. And, and, it, and we might go through another offseason where we're asking, hey, who is going to be that number one guy when the Pirates kick it off this year? Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, too. Just tip for tat. Each day someone has a good day. The next one, the next one brings it. So. Um, I kind of heard the same thing about Hauser going into it, but I've heard the Garcia kids pretty consistent. Um, so we'll have to see. You know, I whoever's up there, I just hope they play good. I hope we win some games. I mean, we certainly got a schedule to win some games. We certainly got the defense to win some games. We think we got the offensive scheme now to win games. So um, hopefully whoever's behind center. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see both guys back there at some point just give them a shot, especially early in the season with the schedule that we got. So, um, shoot, I don't care who plays as long as they play good. That's uh, That's what I want. I'm right there with you, Holden, and, and we mentioned earlier that all the games you played at ECU, Reed Herring, the starter, um, in your first uh, you know college experience here at East Carolina, and I, I kind of asked Kate and Ann and Jake when, when I talked to them recently about the relationship, and it's both kind of said they don't put too much focus on the battle; they're just trying to get better themselves, and and of course, uh, you know, are, are hoping their teammate does well. Uh, is that a uh, is that an awkward position to be in, Holden, or, or is it easy for for two guys battling for that starting spot? What do you know from from your experience? Yeah, to be honest, I mean that's a great question. It's, just, it's however you make it. I mean, you can either be you can be boys. Like I've, I've had great friendships with a lot of guys that you know are backing up me. I mean, like I said, Mason Garcia, is, I've talked about before, is one of my best friends. Flynn is too. Caden obviously is. Um, but I mean, there, it, there can be tension too. I mean, it's literally however you make it, but. I mean, you can't view it as, you know, you want someone to do bad. You just got to go there and hope they do good. And if they are doing bad, okay, it's my time to step up. And that's how I've always viewed it. So I'm viewing it now, really. You know, I'm cheering for Luis to play good. Um, you know what I mean? But, you know, I need to continue to get better each day and work on myself, too. So that's that's the way to, to really approach it. Now, I don't know if they are or not. It sounds like they are. So far, I know they're two good kids. So hopefully that's the way they're approaching it. Talking to Old Nailers on the Pirate Radio Live Line, Old Nailers Show, another new ebb dropping on Thursday. And saw the tweet uh, yesterday, Holt, uh, planning to get uh, Ezra Azar on. And I've seen some comments to that regarding, hey, don't, don't, don't have these guys that are, you know, leaving East Carolina on and, and giving them pub. And I, I almost responded to it, but I didn't because... 
at the time I saw that tweet, I was talking to Jake Garcia, who's been at two different schools. Uh, on the whole Naylor show, you've got yourself, you got Drew Dodder, who's in the transfer portal, Jack Powers, who came to East Carolina from the portal. I mean, it is a new day. If you're looking for true pirates, quote unquote, uh, Holden's out there. Rajay's out there, and, and they're getting few and far between. So I, yeah. I just almost feel like you got to kind of keep up with what's happening now, and, and guys are going to come, guys are going to go, and that is just the norm, at least right now, in college athletics. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I hate to see him go, and like I said, I mean, I'm not supporting him leaving at all, but I'm going to say this, don't be honest, and I'll say it on the show tonight when we film, when we have him on, is, I mean, are we going to take – there's fans that take it ser- ECU basketball seriously, yes, but just go sit in Menzies Coliseum and then go sit in any other arena in North Carolina that has a college basketball team that's being successful. And you'll see who's taking it seriously and who's not. And, I mean, I'm always going to be honest. I'm not, you know, crapping on anyone, but, I mean, there definitely needs to be some changes made with facility-wise and all that. And if you want to keep guys around, it's, from what I've heard, we've had good NIL with these basketball players now, but we're still losing them. So, first of all, you got to win. I mean, and yeah. it starts, I think, with facilities. Uh, but that, that's my take on it. I mean, I know that's a, a harsh one, but, hey, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be real about it. Uh yeah, and right now you look at that ECU uh, Pirates dot com roster. Seven guys on that roster holding, and, uh, and it has been a, a mass exodus. And uh, you know, I've heard that Mike Schwartz uh, maybe nudge some guys out, which you, you you see happen and and hear about happening. And he's going to try to revamp this thing, but it's uh, it's going to be a whole new look team uh, coming up next year for ECU basketball. Also, Isaiah Winstead going to join you on the show, Isaiah. And you're yeah, you know, you're buddies with Isaiah. You got him to come here. Here to East Carolina, you had a, a role. It sounds like in uh, getting him to Arlington. Uh, he used to come on our show, Holden. He is a quiet guy, keeps to himself. We got him to open up a little bit, talking about non-football things. Um, how about behind the scenes? Can you get Isaiah to, to have a, a long conversation with you? Because again, he is a, a quiet, keep to himself guy. Oh, hundred uh, percent. We're roommates. He lives with me. Okay. Or I live with him. So uh, we're, we're boys. So he's gonna. I'm gonna get him to open up on my show. He's He's open up with me. He's just he's just a naturally quiet guy. He, he's hilarious once you do get him to open up. But hopefully, uh, hopefully this episode we we get him going a little bit. All right, looking forward to that coming up on a Thursday uh, on the Holt Naylor Show. Ezra and Isaiah Winstead coming up. All right, Holt, uh, let's get a Knicks update. I'm looking at the schedule. Do they play tonight? What do we got? Um, they played last night. Got an took an L. Um, we're a little banged up right now. But hey, we're I think we're sitting at. Fourth in fourth in the East um, could possibly end up two in the East, like two and a half games back. So we're playing good. I mean, we're still we still have three starters out right now. Really, we're playing with Jalen Brunson, who's I think an MVP candidate. Um, but we're still playing good, and I think the I think the NBA storyline is going to be Embiid being back for the Sixers, next yeah. the eight seed. They're going to play Celtics, you know, round one, and Celtics would look like the favorite to win it all this year, um, at least from my eyes. I, I'm joked on the show though i think the only team that could beat them are the knicks but honestly i think the sixers could beat them if Embiid plays the whole series so um that'd be a, a great surprise for me if the knicks can uh go to round two and not play the celtics that'd be pretty sweet that is uh yeah looking at it now and that boy that is a matchup as someone who only follows the nba closely if the hornets are doing well i have been out on it this year uh to see the orlando magic in that four or five game against the knicks uh, pretty surprising to me uh, but, yeah, you get by that one. Maybe you get a, a quote-unquote Embiid upset in round one, and uh, and you're looking pretty good there. So, yeah, it could happen. Um, with the Bucks up top, of course, the Cavs, uh, other teams. It looks like the Pacers uh, are going to be in. So, uh, going to be interesting playoffs there in the Eastern Conference. Hold, uh, anything else going on? What, uh, what are you doing in Texas when you're not watching film and practicing football? You found anything fun to do? Shoot, my dog's here, so I take her to the dog park. But other than that, man, I live – my backyard is literally the Cowboys Stadium, and there's a – Texas Live's a huge sports bar here. So I just go watch uh, watch some sports, you know, have a little dinner, and uh, that's about it, man. Kenny, uh, I meant to ask you last week. He's probably asked you on the show as well. Have, have you visited Jerry World yet? Have you been over to the Cowboys facilities? I have not. It's literally in my backyard. I mean, I can see it when yeah. I'm in my backyard, but I have not been over there yet. Um, I see it every day. Obviously, our stadium's right next to it, but no, I haven't been in it yet. Uh, hopefully, 
hope I get some playing time this year and maybe get signed by him. So we'll see. There you go. And uh, you can just stay wherever you're living right now and, and walk over to the stadium on Sundays. Holden, appreciate you joining us, man. Keep up the good work. I uh, hope to see you on the field soon, but I uh, know you're working hard. So we appreciate you joining us. Appreciate and looking forward to uh, Holden Naylor's show on Thursday. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. See you, man is Holden Naylor's joining us Pirate Radio Live Line here on a Wednesday. Chon back in the Pirate Radio studios. Chon just had a big boy meeting. Yeah. With the uh, fine folks at HCK Hot Chicken. Yes, sir. Right there off of Memorial Drive. If you remember where the Witch Witch was, that's the same spot it's in Wait, now. Wait, Witch Witch? Witch Witch. Witch Witch Witch? Witch Witch Sandwiches. Okay. I've actually never been there. But I'll tell you where I have been. That is at HCK Hot Chicken. Me and Mark Alexander went there a couple months ago and tried it out when they first opened. And man, they got some great chicken, man. They got some awesome sauces that you can have, too. Uh, they have chicken wings there, chicken tenders. Uh, it's right on uh, Crestwell Drive. I uh, just had a meeting with Abraham, who, who owns the one here in Greenville. And uh, great food, man. I got some slaw, some pickles on my on my chicken sandwich here. And it's uh, really, really good. It's tasty. It's a big piece of chicken inside this bread. Oh. Did you just ask me if that's frozen chicken? Yeah, I think I did. Huh. No frozen chicken there. None. All fresh? It's all fresh. Every single day. Fresh chicken. And we got some sauces, too. We yep. put a little of the... Uh, so we got hot sauce with base hot sauce with one flame, uh-huh. afterburner with two flames. I opened up the angry hot with three flames, and then there's a medic that I couldn't get open. They must have childproof this one. Uh, yeah, I was about to say that's the four flames. That they might not want you to open that one. Um, um, but yeah, enjoying some of this uh, HCK. So good stuff. I'm feeding you really good today. Isn't I? I know, dude. You're <laughs> fatting me up. Let's take a break. We'll come back. Fleet Feet Rundown. Big NFL trade that we have not mentioned in two hours and 40 minutes. So we'll talk about it when we return. Pirate Radio Live after this. And what I want you to do is listen. Here with Jeff Stein at Brown & Wood, it's a great time to buy a used vehicle. It's not a great time. It's a perfect time to buy a used car from Brown & Wood. We have over 115 used vehicles in stock, and we're number one in the market on price. We have limited lifetime powertrain on all of our used cars under 80,000 miles, so go to brownandwoodauto.com to find out more. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal, to make sure you leave a happy customer. You know texting while driving is dangerous. That's not new information. Yet most people admit to doing it anyway. Drivers are 23 times more likely to be involved in a car accident while texting. Know the facts and wait to text. The danger is real and it applies to you. Auto Owners Insurance. The no problem people. Information provided by Virginia Tech Transportation Institute. This is Brian Smith with Town Insurance in Greenville. Call me today at 756-8300. Go Pirates. The Holton Ehler Show. I got a team that I I know Jack's going to be like, oh, this dude. But the Los Angeles Lakers, (laughs) they... They are yeah. one of the, they are one of the deepest teams in the league. They've been without Gabe Vincent. They've been without Jared Vanderbilt, and they just beat the Milwaukee Bucks at Milwaukee without LeBron. I, is, I understand that is that. a deep team, and like they're on a they're getting hot at the perfect time. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the best three point shooting that I've seen from the Lakers with LeBron. The Holton Ayler Show, powered by SouthernEase.com, Thursdays and Fridays at six, right here on Pirate Radio. Looking for physical therapy near you? Have you had orthopedic surgery, a work or sports injury, or a medical condition that has limited your day-to-day activities? At ENC Physical Therapy, we strive to provide one-on-one care with a personalized treatment plan with little to no wait times for initial evaluation. ENC Physical Therapy is located in Washington, a convenient 20-minute drive from Greenville. As a patient, you have options and the right to choose where to go. So give ENC Physical Therapy a call today at 252-495-0018. ENC Physical Therapy. While you're sleeping, and our whole hogs are slow cooking over wood to create that bite that Eastern North Carolina is known for. I'm Sam Jones, and for more than three generations, my folks have been the torch bearers for what whole hog barbecue is supposed to be. At Sam Jones, you'll find plenty of smoke, but no mirrors. Everything, and I mean everything, is made fresh daily, including our sides, sweets, and sauces. Come on over and see us at Sam Jones Barbecue, and I bet you'll be able to taste our passion in just one bite. Sam Jones Barbecue, Fire Tower Road. 
It's time to save at Beauty Bar Medi Spa's Spring Extravaganza, April 8th through the 12th. Mark your calendar, but don't wait for the sale. Schedule your free consultation today to get the inside scoop on all the sale pricing. Your free consultation will allow you to understand your options and plan your budget so you can save on services such as Botox, filler, laser treatments, facials, skin care, and more. Schedule your free consultation and mark your calendar April 8th through the 12th. BeautyBarMediSpa.com Hear that? That's the plumpest, juiciest hot dogs you've ever seen getting their grill on. But we both know what'll make it sound even better. Oh, yeah. It's a Pepsi to go with your hot dog. Because when you're chomping on America's favorite meal, relish, mustard, and onions perfectly blending into a crescendo of flavor, there's only one thing that makes everything about that moment better. A cold, refreshing Pepsi. One mouth-watering sip is all it takes to make this whole experience go from pretty good to jaw-droppingly, table-poundingly incredible. Don't believe me? Just listen. See what I mean? It's like music to my ears. And if you'll excuse me, I have a date with the two most beautiful things I've ever seen. Or heard. Hot dogs. Better with Pepsi. That's what I like. Ah. This March, Moore's Barbecue has teamed up with Pepsi to bring you the ultimate combo experience, the Carolina Classic. Sink your teeth into our succulent dark chicken combo, served with our signature barbecue, two sides, piping hot hush puppies, and a free ice-cold Pepsi, courtesy of Moore's Barbecue and Pepsi. Welcome aboard the pirate ship of fun. Pirate Radio. Prepare for the adventure of a lifetime. The voice of the pirate nation. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Order Jersey Mike subs on the mobile app and get delivery right to your home or save time and order ahead to skip the line to pick up from your nearest Jersey Mike sub location. Jersey Mike's a sub above. Now let's head back in to Pirate Radio Live. Here is your host, Clip Rock. All right, welcome back in the show. I got uh, the nose running a little bit. I got the heat pouring out of me right now. Yeah. Got a little hot in here. Is anybody breaking a sweat? Whew. I did for a little bit. I got the air on. Feels good in here. Oh uh, yeah, I turned it. Did you turn it down some more, or because I did turn it down a little bit earlier? I think when we opened these boxes from HCK Chicken, it got hotter and the air turned on. Oh, okay, because... Uh, Turn down for what? Yeah, you guys are eating this chicken, and I'm five minutes away from menopause, so I get the hot flashes. So <laughs> we're all hot heat. Are you sure you do not want this to take on for dinner? Uh, no, I'm fine. I, I had a huge lunch earlier, and that has not digested yet, and uh, I don't really eat a whole Courtesy lot anyway. Of, uh, Chandler. Yeah, he, Chandler uh, brought me lunch. He and did the George Costanza. <laughs> he had Mark pay for it, and then Chandler brought us the food and bath. So here, guys, here y'all have enjoy. It. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Is hey. that the same thing that y'all do with the uh, with the cinnamon twist whenever uh, somebody goes to? That's the, Taco what Bell? Chandler does. Yeah, yeah. He'd be like, "Yeah, Shirley, I left you. I gave you some some uh, some cinnamon twists here. You can have these." I'm like, "Oh, thank I you, said, Chandler. Shirley, That's you know, awfully I, nice of you." I, said, I really was craving these uh, cinnamon twists, but I thought I felt uh, to be nice today, and I'm gonna give them to you. And I was like, oh, thank you, Chandler. You are so nice. And how thoughtful. That was such a thoughtful thing to do. And then Clip is looking at her like, hey, I went to Taco Bell and gave them to Chandler. And I was Actually, like, no. I left them for you. Oh, you left them for me. So That's when you it. walked yeah, in, Chandler right. said, hey, I left those for you, Shirley. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, exactly. What a move. Good move, though. I, I give you it props slick. for it. It was respect, slick. It was slick. Respect. Fleet Feet Rundown. Brought to you by Fleet Feet, locally owned and operated by ECU alum Chris Lunyon. Fleet Feet of Greenville provides solutions through one-on-one services to runners, walkers, and everyone in between. They have the tools and technology to get you in the right shoe. Go see them at 207 East Arlington Boulevard in the old Gordon's Golf location. Fleet Feet, they run for you. Kind of a dreary day today, but not cold or hot, so pretty pretty good running conditions. You know those runners, though. They'll run in anything. All those runners. Chandler got a big football trade. Is yeah. it a big football trade? Uh, I would say so. Because I think this team is losing probably 
outside their quarterback, their best player. And I think it's making this team that he's going on a contender, not just in the AFC South, but in the AFC itself. So when the Bills lost last year, it felt like at the time, if they don't do it this year, they might not do it. Uh, a Super Bowl winning team does not need an elite wide receiver. I think Kansas City has shown that, although you could argue they've got a top three greatest tight end of all time. That certainly helps out with the lack of their receivers. Right. But like, does does Stefan Diggs going from Buffalo to Houston? First let's talk about Buffalo. Is their window closed now? They still have Josh Allen. As long as they have Josh Allen, I think the window it might get smaller, but right. I don't think it closes. Because you still oh wait, nope. Never mind. Gabe Davis is gone. Yep. Huh. They're gonna look a lot different. But like I, I stick to the point and I stick to the saying of like the window is not gonna be closed unless you know as long as Josh Allen stays there. But if one window closes a little bit, that means another one opens up a little bit. Yeah. And that is the Houston Texans. Yeah. How about that? And what a season they had last year and first under first year head coach D'Amico Ryan's under first year quarterback, rookie quarterback, uh offensive rookie of the year. Uh Caleb uh, C.J. Stroud. I'm going to say Caleb Stroud, as I do every time. C.J. Stroud. Uh, and now he gets a new weapon. He had a, a weapon last year, two weapons, if you want to say, in Nico Collins and Tank Dale. Uh, and now they add his number one wide receiver, because I really, between the two, you really didn't know who his number one wide receiver is. Now you do know, and it's Stephon Diggs. Yeah. Um, is Diggs uh, a C word? And by that, I mean a cancer on a football team. That might be a little strong, but he is a D-word, a diva. And yeah. they've got a good thing going down there. they got a good culture. they got a good young head coach. they got a great young quarterback. They've got good young receivers that performed in year one. Don't mess this up, Stefan. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I think that's a concern if I'm a Houston fan. I saw someone on Twitter post um, the video of Antonio Brown walking out of the stadium shirtless, um, and it says... Stephon Diggs whenever he throws his first pass to Tank Dell and Nico Collins every play. I, I I worry. I mean, you've seen him blow up on the sidelines. Yeah, yeah. There's always been behind the scenes stuff about does Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen get along, and they all played nice with that, and they they probably do. Like it, Stephon Diggs, is a passionate guy, but I don't want that getting in the head of my young quarterback or ruining that uh, that culture that they built last year. Yeah, I mean. What you saw last year, especially in the post game celebrations in the locker room, um, it just and it's a team that has not had much success, and they had uh, great success last year, especially under our first year head coach and a rookie quarterback. And I hope that Stephon Diggs understands as he goes to Houston that this quarterback is still young, that he's only a sophomore in the league, and that you know hopefully he can continue to be a part of those post-game locker room celebrations and not try to break that down but he's going to have to understand that there's other receivers on the team uh and young talent on the team in tank dale and nico collins and uh not all, not every football is going to be thrown to him but i definitely look for stefan Diggs to be that number one guy for cj stroud next year all right um moving along we finally got some some stuff coming out of baltimore so five hours ago, the Orioles tweeted out the start of today's game will be delayed due to inclement weather. They went on full radio silence until 32 minutes ago uh, where they put out that the first pitch is scheduled for approximately 6.05. So looks like there will be O's baseball coming up as they take on the Royals. Lost to Kansas City last night, trying to get them back tonight. Uh, Red Sox lead the A's one nothing in the bottom of the ninth. It is Yankees 2 and D-backs 2 as they head to the bottom of the ninth. Reds and Phillies are in a rain delay. Guardians all over the Mariners, 8 0. That score in the seventh inning, and the Padres lead the Cardinals 3 1. That's what's going on right now in Major League Baseball. Uh, any canes tonight to watch at Sports Trivia at AJ's? That answer would be no. So we'll find some uh, baseball to watch and maybe some NBA as well. They've had like three days off because while we were in Raleigh yesterday, I was wondering if the Canes were going to be in town and I saw they were not on the schedule to play in the NHL last <clears> night. <throat> I looked before on Monday to see if they played Monday. I didn't see that they played Monday, so a little hiatus from the Canes. 
maybe they need to take a little break before they go on a little playoff run. No cheating. Um, do you guys know who the Hornets play tonight? I think I saw. Okay, Zach, do you know? You don't know. Okay, good. The Hornets are one and a half point favorites tonight. You have to tell me the team they're playing. Wizards? No. So how well do you know the bottom of the NBA this year? No. No. I saw it earlier and I forgot. It's uh, we've already played the Pistons every time. We we we're done with them. Yeah, we've lost to them every time. Yeah, somehow. Um It's a Western Conference team. Yeah. I was just say I've named the two worst ones than us in the East. It is Houston. The Portland Trailblazers. Oh. Oh, really? Yes. I probably didn't know they were bad this year. They have one more win than the Hornets do. I think the Spurs are worse than them, though. Uh, could be. The Hornets, uh, I've seen four Hornets games live. Three. Three Hornets games live. One of them was Portland, and that is where I found my love for Dame Lillard. Because there was like a, there was some Portland fans there wearing a Lillard jersey before the game. I was like, huh, that's interesting. And then I saw him play. I was like, man, I like this dude. He's uh, he's tough. He can shoot the lights out. He's tough, GF. Uh, Hornets are a favorite. Hornets, Hornets, Hornets. Chandler. News. Pulling up his DraftKings right now. What do you got? What news? Have we talked about it today? Have we talked about what? Hornets news. Oh. (laughs) Yeah, I did see this. Uh, There is a Get ready for a new coach or a new old coach in 2028. Steve Clifford will be coming back. (laughs) Or, or would they bring back James Brega? <laughs> uh, Steve Clifford stepping down at the end of the season, and the Hornets will look for a new coach immediately. So, uh, no Steve Clifford. He will. Uh, what a hire. He, what a great hire. He will be exiting as the Hornets head coach for the second time in about eight years. He will be transitioning to a front office role. Good. You got to keep a guy like Look, I like Steve Clifford. I'm not going to be a, guy. a jerk, but. My God, bringing back a guy you fired a couple years ago is the dumbest thing ever. I don't know. All right, let's take a break. We'll come back, wrap it up on a Wednesday edition of Pirate Radio Live after this. North Carolina State Parks invites you to enjoy camping your way. With the weather changing, booking your own cabin is the perfect solution for your camping getaway. Reserve campsites or cabins today at Jones Lake, Goose Creek, and Cliffs of the News. Whether you enjoy traditional camping or air-conditioned cabins that can be rented with Wi-Fi, your next adventure can include hiking, beautiful scenery, and sunsets by the campfire. For information on booking a cabin, visit ncparks.gov. Hello, Eastern North Carolina, Pitt County Schools is in the opportunity business. We open doors for every student by finding pathways to provide the best possible chance of success for each to reach their career aspirations of choice. As we head through the spring months, we will continue to guide our students for the different journeys of life preparedness before celebrating their accomplishments. We are committed to enhancing academic achievement and developing personal growth through work-based learning of our many career and technical education programs college readiness, and saluting those who will be serving our country in the armed forces, engaging, empowering, and elevating students to be successful citizens, workers, and leaders in a global economy remains our mission. Please visit our website today at pittschools.org. That's pittschools.org to learn how we grow minds and invest in our future through 38 schools and one community. Education is truly the key that unlocks doors of opportunity. The convenience of Pitt Greenville Airport is waiting just outside your front door. Service is back, so you're connected to destinations worldwide through flights from American Airlines. Plan your next trip. Book your flights today at flypgv.com or aa.com. Good news, business travelers. PGV and American Airlines has added a new early morning flight available now. Book today at aa.com and be on time for that connection in Charlotte. Fast, convenient, and close to home, PGV has American flights perfect for your next trip. PGV, where the pirates fly. The way Wait is over. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina. You can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in North Carolina with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with the promo code PIRATE and bet $5 will receive $200 instantly in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more, with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using the code 
code PIRATE and bet $5 to get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with the code PIRATE. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and is used under license. Before anyone walks into your business, the outside is what they see. Make sure your first impression is a good impression with the right curb appeal. Hi, this is Daniel Andrews from Dan Andrews Lawn Service. We specialize in making your business look great. Let us handle all your professional landscaping needs. We do it all so you don't ever have to worry. Residential service services are also available. Call us today at 717-8006 and we'll come out and give you a free quote. Taking care of your landscaping needs is all we do and we've been doing it for over 20 years. You can trust our reliable team at Dan Andrews Lawn Service covering all of Eastern North Carolina. Here with Jeff Stein at Brown and Wood. It's a great time to buy a used vehicle. It's not a great time. It's a perfect time to buy a used car from Brown and Wood. We have over 115 used vehicles in stock and we're number one in the market on price. We have limited lifetime powertrain on all of our used cars under 80,000 miles, so go to brownwoodauto.com to find out more. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal to make sure you leave a happy customer. Pirate Radio. Join the crew. Fire those things that go bang. (laughs) The voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. The Dow only dropped four points today and closed out at 39,127. The NASDAQ was up 37 points at 16,277. And the S&P was up five at 5,211. That is your Wells Fargo Advisor Stock Market Report. For a personal look into investing, call Wells Fargo Advisors today at 756-6900 in Greenville. Wells Fargo Advisors LLC member SIPC. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. All right, wrapping it up on a Wednesday. We'll see you fine folks coming up Thursday, 3 o'clock. All new edition of Pirate Radio Live. Looking forward to it. Have a great Wednesday evening, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow for Shirley Rhodes, Zach, Chon, and the crew. I am Clip Brock. Jeff Charles, take us home. Have a great night, Eastern Carolina. Thanks for listening to Pirate Radio Live, an exclusive presentation of the voice of the Pirate Nation. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. You can ask that smart speaker to play CBS Sports Radio. And what do you think happens? CBS Sports Radio pops right on up. I'm going to tell you about this trade between the Buffalo Bills and the Houston Texans in a few seconds. In about 20 minutes from now, We're going to go to Houston, Texas, and we're going to have a conversation with Sean Pendergrast, who hosts mornings on 610 Radio, The Loop, down in Houston, Texas. Because I know my folks in Houston, they got to be having a party at what the Texans have been able to do, not just today in acquiring Stephon Diggs, but what the Texans have been able to do over the past year. They're no longer a laughing stock. Next hour, we're going to get into some college basketball, the men and women's side. Michael DeCourcy is going to come through and chat with us. This man is a bracketologist for Fox Sports, writes for the Sporting News.